we're good. Thumbs up. I guess he won. Is Jay's thumbs up? There we go. Fuck. Yeah. Not so tender podcast number fourteen season finale. I don't know why hey. I picked number fourteen to be the last <laughs> one for a season because I don't know what a season is, but I feel like fourteen is two weeks. That's two weeks of material. That's a lot of sure. material, right? I guess I'm like, well, twelve it's, would be like one a month, right? Twenty four would be. Like is fourteen every two weeks. reasonable? So I'm like, why? All right. Sure. Sounds I don't great. Know. Anyways, this is our last one. We're going to change some next, things. Next year, we'll have to do 24. In one happens. season? Yeah. Jeez, she's going Every hard. Every other week. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So next week, next year, we're changing it. But next season, you're going to see a change in the set a little bit. Mm-hmm. We're going to revamp some things and make it all better. Today, we have a special guest. Her name is Taylor. Da, 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 da. <laughs> um, Welcome, Taylor. I I'm gonna give you a little bit of story of why you're why you're here. Um, I work at a tattoo shop, obviously, um, not so obviously, but she was getting tattooed by another artist, and she was telling a story about some things, and I, I poked my head, and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck did you just say?" And I was like, "We talked for a minute," and I said, "You need to come on the show," and she fucking agreed to it so bonkers i literally went home and i was like i'm in <laughs> she said i love it so that's we'll get to what we were talking about a little bit later we're gonna we're gonna go through our normal hard week or easy week kelly mm. oh, this is a good so one. we've had so many easy weeks i know so this past week was my last week at the hospital yay <laughs> And also, I love my job, and I love the people that I work with, so it was hard. So now I am getting ready to go into full-time private practice. I have eight intakes this week. That's it? (laughs) Intakes mean diagnosing people and coming up with a treatment plan. Oh, that's easy. Girls do that all day long, just from a fucking Instagram photo. Right. Mm -hmm. i'm kidding so right (laughs) so i have been anxious all weekend just like the transition between Mm. full-time job with a hierarchy of power versus like it's just me are you excited yeah you got this yeah yeah you'll be way better off i'm pumped you should double your workload you'll thrive i am not i have (laughs) 20 it works for me i have 27 openings and i'm at like 18 fuck yeah Sissy, let's do, let's do, wait, 27. My toggle is open, everybody. Yeah. If you're in Ohio, I'm only licensed in Ohio. I shared it um, to someone today, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I think some people are going to benefit from it for sure. I hope so. I believe. I believe it. So. So, yeah. Big transition week for me. Bittersweet, for sure. Independent. Here we go. For Independence Day. Um. My week was interesting. I had some really... Yeah, how inter- was your week? My week was interesting. I had some neat clients, and we talked about a lot of stuff, which is why I want to bring up this... What I want to bring up today, do you want to punch me right in the I belly? Do. It's okay, because it's something we need to talk about, because... <laughs> I'm um, going to go just as Kelly, as opposed to... Kelser Kelser Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> so today, I, I be, am just a human. Can I be Everybody, Therapist like, Thomas not, today, yes. then? Therapist Thomas, I am no longer Counselor Kelly just for the season finale. I am just Kelly. Human well, Kelly. The um, roles are reversed. Yes. It is. 100%. Here we go. So you have to therapize me. It's going to be good. It Appalachian is not. therapy. Oh I'm only God. licensed in West Virginia. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. By what board? The board that goes it's on your outhouse. Right. <laughs> the outhouse board. So she's oh, actually spends Lord. a ton of time in West Virginia. So when I was talking to her about stuff and she's like, I know exactly what you're talking about. I was like, it's a different kind of oh, it problem is. solving skill, oh, isn't yeah. it? It's you very, know? yeah. People here and there are just very different. They think very differently. Mm, yeah. Act. And right. you're not comfortable in either place, are you? No. Isn't that the worst part of it? I, I feel the same way. Like, I feel like... I'm too country for here and too, like, city for there. And when you, like, you guys don't know me on this show. I'm pointing at people like you're actually looking at me. But I know when you see this, you don't think that I grew up in a two-room schoolhouse and an outhouse and churning Mm, butter and splitting wood and, like, for real slopping hogs every day when you look at this. You don't see like this. 
So Holler, West Virginia. I was on a mountain. I actually wasn't in Holler. <laughs> no. Oh, you were up. Yeah. Right, yeah. So. We really weren't Holler people. We actually live on top of the mountain. Not that there's any better. You I don't really know. You look down on the Holler people? No. You just drive down there to get to the river. That's about all you do. And you <laughs> wave to them. And if they got something dope, you probably share it with them. And they share it with you. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes down there. They they play for keeps down there because you're actually protecting something because you, you, you don't have it. Poor people whether you're in the city or Appalachia, the exact same people. Yeah. They will protect whatever they have to their death or your death because it's important. And I think that's where I kind of, I'm very cautious of how I deal with certain right. people because that inner Appalachian comes out in me where I'm just like, right. life or death, right. Well, yeah, because we, it's, it is playing for keeps down there. I mean, it, it gets very serious very quick. I've had a lot of gun deaths in my family. I'm sure you have. How many gun deaths have you had in your family? A lot. Is See, it? okay, how many gun deaths have you had in your family? You're going to say no. Well, how crazy is this? It, I knew that you're going to say yes. Things just, the way down there, it just, they escalate very quickly. They don't really talk about things. It's just quick to doing whatever they can yeah. to solve the situation in their eyes. It's, they, someone always has to be right and you just can't argue with it. It's just, it's bad. Yeah. It's well, interesting. It, you had to be, I mean, you got to figure it like all that Scottish, all those people are Irish and Scottish yeah. and like literally Scottish thing is fuck around and find out. It literally is like the mantra no, yeah, of no, Scotland. So right. it's like those people have just been protecting what they've had for, so, and they don't have a lot. Right. And if you do have a lot, you're really going to protect it as well. Oh, absolutely. It is a different kind of okay. vibe. I had to tone it down, you know, cause internally it just, I want to go to 11. You know, I want to just lash out, and yeah. I'm like, man, I don't want to teach my kids that. I don't want to. Right. I don't. I don't, I don't be that way with my that. friends. Oh, two to eleven. My dad is right, the yeah. scariest fucking guy. Oh my god, like for real scary. And but he, it's. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's so normal. Like when you grow up that way, you're like, oh, yeah. oh that's my uncle. He will literally carry a sawed-off shotgun in a bar and try to like because the guy was hitting on his wife, and he warned him, leave her the fuck alone, dude. She's yeah. married. And he did it again. He walked right his ass out there to his truck and grabbed his fucking shotgun, kicking in the door like, I fucking told you. Like, they don't, mm. you yeah, know. It escalates very fast. You don't You don't have time to process anything, mm -mm. really. Like, even, I was just there, like, two weeks ago, and we were at Walmart. Mm -hmm. And some guy came up to this girl, and she he just, um... He just, I don't know, I don't know what he asked her, but I just know the guy beside her, they just started fighting instantly. He yeah. was like, he was like, why like are you speaking site, to my wife? Just, yeah. Right, yeah. Right there in the middle of the aisle. He was like, why are you speaking to my wife? Like it hmm. was serious. It's how it always is. Every time I go down there, it's just like. When I moved up here, I was in second grade and I remember these guys, like the way they fight up here, they kind of walk around on their shoulder on each other's shoulder and talk a lot of shit. And I looked at the kid next to me, I go, what are they doing? It's and he goes, he there. goes, they're fighting. I go. No, they're not. That looks like a beat it video. You like that doesn't look like they look like they're dancing. Yeah. Like and like I'm not joking. In Appalachian, man, they'll hit you and then go stop looking at my girl after they beat right. you half to they death. Act and then explain. like here that right. they'll start yelling at each other. I'm like, oh, I'll hit you or whatever. There, they're straight to the point. Like they now. tell you if they tell you they're gonna fight you, they're going to. Not even a second later. But here they just yeah. they'll talk and it's talk. A, so it's a different kind of. Oh yeah, it's very different. Yeah. It's very different. You can just tell by the atmosphere when you get like from here and there it's very different yeah that's the vibes everything right my maternal grandfather was a presbyterian pastor yeah they lived in scotland for a long time Oof. my mom grew up there next level shit right. but he was potentially on the other side of that coin yeah. I would guess more more reserved. Or yeah, more, right. So yeah. he was born and raised here, and then went over across seas to Oof. do that, and then came back. And so my mom is like the daughter of a minister, and that explains a lot. I know, heathen. I know, straight right. heathen. She. We normally have a counselor on this show. I know. Uh, and today we don't have. We a just counselor. have a heathen. We just have a human. <laughs> heathen Kelly. <laughs> a heathen human. That's all we got. Jeez. But like, yeah, like, so he will tell me stories about X, Y, Z, but he wasn't Part of on that. that side of that. Yeah. yeah right. Dude, my so he family. He was on the more conservative. Like, Oof. there's. But I guess his stories are like it was very black and white. It was either you were over here or you're over here. There's no middle. Right. No, there's no middle. No. Right. And it's so, like, I don't know how removed I'm going to assume that where your family lives, nobody, it's not a neighborhood. No, there is, um, 
No, there's actually no neighbors besides, right. besides, besides Juan. He just built a cabin on the... Well, all the um, houses around us were turned into meth labs, so it's all... Jeez. It's all So easy empty. shopping. Yeah. Just super easy shopping. The only... There's just me, Self-serve. our house, and then there's another cabin, and then there is a mini mart, and that's it. That's, that's it. Know. And then it's like an hour to the nearest town for like a Walmart or something. Mm-hmm. We live in the middle of absolutely That's nowhere. where you grew up? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Until when? Um, I came up here... I think when I was like six, but then I kept going back and forth. Like Every I was summer. raised more there than I was here, but okay. my mom has always lived here. Mm. So it's always been a back and forth thing. Mm-hmm. My mom would just ship yeah. me away and then I would have to come back for school and then yeah. Every other week, I was right back out there. And I'm there, like, every other week now. I do barrel racing and stuff out there. That makes sense. Barrel racing, please explain. You don't know what barrel racing is? I can guarantee the general public does not know barrel racing. When you're cooking meth and you have a barrel of, like, chemicals, you got to (laughs) race. I'm kidding. It's just like that. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me, because I... Tell me, because if I slightly know that there are people on really? here who don't oh, yes it's yes very cool please tell i'm not a horse person but it's actually so fun but it's very painful at the same time it's literally where you have there's three barrels there's two across from each other and one up front and then you have to race it's you have to get there my highest is 14.5 seconds to get from the start <laughs> to the finish so you have to i think it's like you, you might want to tell her that it's on a horse. Oh, it is on a horse. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. It's not a wheelbarrow race. I was no. I was envisioning like a Hogs. whiskey barrel. Hogs. No, yeah, so like a, a barrel. You're on a horse and okay. um, you have to try to have the fa- fastest time in front of everybody. You have they to just go, run? Um, they circle around the barrels and you can't knock one over and you have to do it in the fastest second. So you have to go from one side to the other side to the very corner and then race back. I have questions. Go ahead barrel it's like meaning just like like, um, like like a whiskey barrel no like a big blue barrel uh, yeah oh, okay like a rodeo so you just go like in between them you or you just them go fully. you have to circle it and then go back to the other one then go the other one and then race back okay. it's it's hard nobody knows this thomas I'm I, I, it's okay I, I mean i just know because you know right okay so you go there and you barrel race all over. I used I go to New Jersey, I go to North Carolina, all over the place. Mm. Just racing barrels, racing barrels, wheelbarrow racing. Yeah, she got the fastest wheelbarrow race in the Tri County area, <laughs> but one at a time, right? Like you do it, and they time you, and then the next person does it, and they time them. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Now we gotta go to a, a I'm barrel so racing intrigued. competition. Yes, please. Invite me. Okay. Yeah, so Chosen. Appalachian stuff's a little different. It is different. <laughs> it's a lot different. Um, barrel racing is an Appalachian, obviously. It's a worldwide sport. It is. It is. It's all, it's all over that. here. There's like there's <laughs> rings around here, 30 <laughs> minutes from here. Yeah. All over. Bucking, hmm. Ohio. They have rodeos all over the place. I just Shocking. know this because the wife is super into horses, so I was around yeah. a lot of horses in the last year. I had one horse one time. <sighs> she His loves name horses. was Bumpus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He was 21 years old. He was not a barrel racer. He was not. He had bad hips. Nope, I loved him until he passed. He was great. What? I, was, I had a really good joke, and I'm just going to keep just it to myself it tonight. Alone. I am. Leave it alone. He was, I was living in North Carolina, and he was getting attacked by wild hogs. So I rescued The motorcycle club? I'm kidding. No. It was a joke. Mm-mm. I've never heard of that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, it was bad. Hogs. He had like open wounds. It was. Jesus, I loved we are getting crazy. So topic today. far off topic. She's doing anything to not talk about what we're going to talk wanna about. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, oh, that means we have to. So today's subject, Jeez. because of my clients this Pressure's week. Pressure's on you. It is not. <laughs> so I had Human a cli- Kelly, everybody. I had a client in today, and she was talking to a boy that lived in another state, and they had mutual friends. And she found out that he was chatting her up like crazy, but he also was like in a relationship, like even online in a relationship. Like dude is posting pictures or like video of him slow dancing with his girlfriend in the fucking kitchen and still opening up chats from her and like like she didn't know about it. In the same t- like. Wait, who didn't know about it? My client didn't okay. know that he had a girlfriend. Okay. 
and so uh, common though it's sad yeah so i started going deep into it and she's a good client so i always have her like google shit while i'm tattooing her because we like to learn things mm. like we don't know so i'm like google that let's find that out and she laughs you know <laughs> so today we were talking about that i said so did you ever actually meet him and she goes no i said you guys are like fucking pen pals you know what i mean and then i go how much does that affect his home relationship so we started like i was like why do people feel the need to have that kind of in-depth con- i go was he being inappropriate with you she's like oh fuck yeah like i want to cuddle you i want to you know mm-hmm. touch you where you pee all that shit that's not what he said <laughs> well I, he was way more graphic than i'm going to be <laughs> I'm on touch you where you pee is pretty graphic. that's a nice way of saying it i've it. never it's heard not, anyone put so it that way icky. isn't that a nice way of saying it no. I feel like if someone ever said that to me, I would probably just walk away and never talk to you again. <laughs> well, I don't blame you, but I'm not saying it to someone. I'm saying to, to describe it. Yeah, sure. Is that sure, better? Sure. I would never well, say yeah, that. I won't say I would never say that. It's still a weird way to that, describe but. it. <laughs> yeah, you know where I'm from. Uh, you know what? You're That's right. That's a stretch. Right. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Show me some grace. Right. You're, you got grace. <laughs> so we were talking about It's the about last it. episode, so we're going to call it you is. out on that. Like, listen, so, that's a weird way It's not going anywhere. I know it gets a laugh. Oh, so, okay. So he was saying that to this. Yeah, my friend. To well, your my fr- client. Yeah, to my your friend. client yeah. while in a serious, committed relationship. In a in a real relationship. Okay. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and I was like, Google why people need to talk to multiple people one time, and it led me to this subject: emotional. What's the second word? Affair. Emotional affair. So we are going Taylor? through it, and we are talking about <laughs> it. Buckle emotional, <laughs> yeah, emotional affair. So then I, because I like to know real, um, what Not a word real. really means. What a, a definition. Yes. A definition a of a word. logic-minded. Yes. So what emotional affair? So we went to Wikipedia. We went on these other things, and then she got on TikTok, and we were just watching some people talk about mm-hmm. it. And it was very, very interesting. So... In emotional affair, and some people were way off base in my mind. They were just like going too hard on it. Like it's no matter what it's, I'm like, okay, so if you're just a pen pal with somebody, where does it cross that line and how does it affect your partner? And obviously it affects some people it, like a lot. I'm, I'm very mm-hmm. familiar with this and I'm trying to understand it because I want to better my own relationships. And I also wanted other people to really be able to walk through this because when you're just like, it's just fucking bad. Too many people do it to just write it off as like it's just fucking bad. You right. you got to give me a better reason or sure. wh- and understand like my biggest thing Where right is now is the... to understand why. Yeah. Understand why they do it or why it's a no, problem? No. Why it's a problem to you first. We know why people do it. People like attention. And here's what I talk. <laughs> but why isn't that first? What do you mean? Why is your unhealthy coping not the focus, and why somebody else's reaction to it the focus? In my mind. Mm -hmm. I think if that many people in society do something, we need to understand why we're upset with it first. Because if that many people are doing it, that many people don't murder people. That's why we freak out at it. We're like, Mm -hmm. okay, that's fucking wrong. We're going to hope that that many people don't molest children. They don't. You know, I mean, comparison to how many people there are. Sure. And that's why we're like, no, that's fucked up. Right. But a lot of people fucking have multiple partners and a lot of people have emotional affairs. Mm -hmm. I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but I'm, I want to get to the problem of it before I deal with the fucking symptom of it. The symptom of it is that they're doing it. Okay. Obviously, well, they need to take, okay, that take responsibility is fucking hilarious. It's like saying you're, say you're sorry. Sorry. You know, you're okay. So you fucking responsibility. Responsibility. Amount, clinically amounts to wait, wait, identifying. Wait. You can't talk like that. Yes, today. I am. I'm going to oh, bounce back, back and forth. Listen, <laughs> I'm going I'm to get you a hat. You got to put on. <laughs> Counselor <laughs> Kelly, human Kelly. Right. So taking <laughs> it accountability. Six minutes. No, we're going to argue this time. It's a great season finale. <laughs> oh, love so it. taking accountability is identifying why you do what you do. So if you are getting your emotional needs met by multiple people that's okay if that's what you need but then speak to it right like it i just don't see the point in it if you're in a relationship and you need to seek validation from other people what's the point of continuing the relationship i'll tell you why because that's what everybody says because that's the generic answer i'm not saying you're wrong this is why it's not generic no it's not generic it is kind of no hold on this is the typical answer right yes but this is why 
it's the same thing as parenting and everything else. My kids won't tell me anything. Well, how do you act when they tell you? You want to know, like, it's sometimes it has to do with it's easier to share something with somebody that you don't have to go home to. You don't have any real responsibilities to. You can you can share things with them without because they're not going to judge you because they're not relying on you for your finances, for your trust to share your home with, to share your children with. Mm -hmm. So it's lighter. It's like your best friend. But when it's the opposite sex, all of a sudden it gets fucking weird. The sex that you're attracted to. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Whoever you would potentially fuck. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I wasn't. I know. I wasn't saying. Yes. Whoever you could potentially have sex with. Whatever you're into but i guess here's where my mind gets tripped up because if you have sex with somebody else it is so much easier generically speaking it is so much easier to get over forgive a a physical infidelity than a emotional infidelity. Can I say why I think that's the case? Yes, please I, do. I heard because I have been think, ruminating on this whole day. <laughs> I'm fucked up, y'all. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so I can. I think I know why. Why? Because you can control their physical body. You can't control their mind, and this is where we trip up as humans, as weak humans. We literally want to control your fucking mind and your thoughts. So an emotional affair you can't control because we're a bunch of controlling little fucks and we want to control somebody. So when you're, if I know where you're located and I know that that person's in that fucking squadron and you're in this squadron and you can't fuck him, Hmm. okay? So I can control your physical. Mm -hmm. I can make sure you're not in the same room with that motherfucker, but I hate that I can't control your fucking mind and I don't know where your, your head is or your conversations are. And that I think is why people are so fucked up about it insecure control insecure sorry yeah i'm not good at with words no sure (laughs) it it comes down to does that make sense it does are we having a breakthrough here i have call two three four (laughs) i need my glasses go ahead 200 5949 just kidding (laughs) i have picked apart the (laughs) definition of jealousy Oh, that's a new one for us. Yeah. There's Do you remember real... the four pieces? No, hell no, because I'm not jealous. Anger. <laughs> that doesn't affect me. Ask me what goes in a shrimp dish. Don't care. I'm allergic to shrimp. Sure. Anger, insecurity. <laughs> oh. Fear. Yeah. Anxiety. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever heard jealousy described that way? We just stumbled across this a couple weeks ago. That's a neat way to explain it, though, right? Because we usually say jealous. Yeah, I guess. Did you hear what is? I don't mean that to be mean, but did you hear like the four pieces of it? Anxiety, fear, anger, insecurity. Right. That's a lot of really that's, heavy shit in one. That's a lot. So to me, because with clients, I often help. I, I I compare emotions to a color wheel. Like there is, there's only so many primary colors and there's secondary colors and there's tertiary tertiary couple yeah and anger is not a primary color you can't just be mad you're mad because you feel other things and that makes you mad yeah it's like saying you're native american that's why you're a dick when you drink sure (laughs) yes same thing thomas (laughs) it's not real but jealousy i guess that just broke it down for me personally and clinically that like jealousy is a combination of a lot of different emotions that you are feeling and you cannot blame other people for your emotions it's like periwinkle it's a lot of colors in the one that's true that's true but like we've talked about like you nobody can offend you unless you decide that you're offended you allow it yeah that's it i had a guy say i don't like this shit being shoved down my throat by these people. I said, these people never shove things down your why throat. Are it's you... the people who dislike it that shove it down everybody. Right. They're the ones well, that are constantly bringing this shit up. Like, why are you opening your throat? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but like that, that's what. It's not that kind of show. But that's where that comes from. Like yeah. you are deciding 100%. to yeah. be offended by what other people do. That's the beauty of Appalachia. They said, I have to give a shit for it to matter. Yes. So I feel like jealousy for the first time when we defined it differently, I was like, oh no, that's, Hit that different. is you. You yeah. are deciding to be insecure. Like your personal emotional state is allowing you to be jealous by somebody else. 
Yeah. And it, 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 radical acceptance, all this stuff, but understanding, it all goes back to understanding why it bothers you before you can bring it to somebody for them to correct it or anything. But the emotional thing, like when you said, why, why is physical cheating easier to forgive? They talked about that a lot today when I, we were watching, you know, listening to this oh, shit. On, yeah. So when on they're social media yeah, and stuff, right. And we were listening to people talk about it and she, I go, and that's why I, I thought about it most of the day. Like, why is physical cheating easier to forgive? And it, it's I, an act. And you can stop it. You can it's literally an control act it. And not an emotion. Yes. Yep. Because we have this in hate, like we just want to control. We want to feel secure of what you're thinking, yes. which is preposterous. And my brain doesn't work that. You know this. My know. brain is like completely like, I don't. You know what you know about me. If we're dating, you only know what I allow you to know. Right. I only know what you allowed me to know. Right. I don't know anybody that's like completely transparent. That's a, I mean, mm. com, like you can't be, there's no yeah. fucking way. Yeah. You know? So the emotional affairs, they went through a lot of different stuff and I was very interested in it. And I can understand why people, why it's so easy to have an emotional affair with, with a coworker or with anybody like that, because you spend more time with them than you do your mate. You also don't pick up their dirty clothes. You, they, you also aren't picking up their dirty dishes. You're not dealing with their twat mother or their twat father. You know what I mean? Like seriously, like you're not dealing with all their shit. So it's very, very attractive. Yeah. Until right. you have the to change their greener. oil and you have right. to, you know, maintain that vehicle. It always seems very attractive. Mm -hmm. So that to me is why it starts and it's a very slippery slope. And I do understand this because it's very easy to fall into that. Yeah. You know, I've learned to keep myself where I'm just like, I don't fuck. There's no fucking way I could even wrap my head around doing that anymore. Yeah. Well, no, you mentioned on a previous episode, like I'm not going to water other people's gardens. No, I started if feeling it does much not better. benefit myself. Well, she was talking about that. She had, because she gets a lot of attention mm -hmm. and I go, she goes, I've slowly just weeded it out. And I go, how freeing do you feel? She goes, it's insane. I don't feel like if somebody sends me a snap that I have to respond back to them. Yeah. You know, and they're like, what, why can't you respond back to me? And she's like, you don't even know me. Right. I don't owe you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you don't know me at all. Like what, for what, you know what I mean? And like, I see it. And with my own personal shit that I'm going through, when it was finally explained to me, when she says, I don't want people to have access to you. And that's really what it comes down to. I don't want people to have access to you because they think that they have like, they're throwing little pebbles at you. You know what I mean? It's not like big things like, you know, let me see you naked, but it's just little like, yeah. well with me, are these people that are reaching out to me about stuff because I'm easy to talk to and I'm easy. Like, are they just throwing little pebbles at me? At your window. Yeah. She says, she goes, I don't care if they, if they talk to you while you're tattooing them. That, that's sure. they're They're paying for you to do that. They got your time. I get it. You know what I mean? As long as you're not being fucking inappropriate like that, I get it. I said, cool. But she goes, when you're not tattooing them, that's not cool. And I, going back to my own shit, what we kind of fucking uncovered on this fucking show, which was awesome to watch back, by the way. Not really. It's not really good to unpack this shit in front of everybody every week, but it's happening. Live here we are, you. right? Wait, here we go. So my whole entire being is based on not wanting to fail people. Mm. So everything that I do, like when I'd have anybody press me over the years about who messaged me and I'm like, why can't I talk to someone? Like I'd be real defensive about it and I couldn't even understand why. And I know now, cause I don't want to fail someone. Mm. Like if you're reaching out to me and you're a client and like, it wasn't about a tattoo, but I feel like I, I would feel like I was letting you down. And it's something inside me that I'm like, that's what's projected me to do tons of shit that I do. That makes sense. You know, in every aspect, right. you know, what do you want to drink? Are you guys good? Everybody good right. and all this yeah. shit constantly, but it goes even further on shit like that. Cause I'm like this, I don't need to talk to that person, but I feel like, but I, I don't want to let them down if they reach out. I don't. Right. And then it becomes a defiant thing too. Like, Hey, don't tell you, me what you, to fucking do. Right. I'm not really good at that. If you ask me, I and mean, then we, we talk about it, I could probably figure it out and work on it. So that helped me a lot is understanding mm. like that little discovery or belief. Yes. Help me go. I don't have to make sure everybody's okay. I don't have their happiness is not contingent on your now, if success they, if, or if they, failure, but it isn't the big ones. It's the little pebbles. Mm hmm. 
You know what I mean? Like if she, if the, like if you message me and was like, dude, I am having a fucking hard day. What do you think about the situation? That's a different. Oh yeah, you would answer that phone call ten out of 10. right, right. Yeah. So unless, and that's not so what unless she's it's that, about. right? Yeah, it's the little thing, the little nudge. Because she hey, knows, your attention. she knows, yeah. just mm-hmm. like everybody knows, that's where it starts. <laughs> Yeah. That's where it fucking starts. And because I'm fucking obviously on the spectrum, I obviously don't see things like normal fucking humans. I'm like, right. no, I don't eat elephants. Like, it's so, it's that preposterous yeah, to me. Sure. I'm like, you know, right. there's no way. Yeah. But it's hard to convince that to someone else how you feel about someone. Like, you could say, like, if you're in a committed relationship and he's freaking out about some guy you work with, and you're like, I don't have any feelings for that guy. But nothing you're going to say. Right, yeah. Is going to make him okay with that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? So the emotional affair, I get, I understand why it makes people very uneasy. Yeah. But I also want to know who actually talks to their mate, like honestly, like they do their friend, like their best friend. Mm. Very few. Ugh. Right. I did did today. Yeah. 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 And I'm sure they got heavy as fuck. It did. Okay, because when they ask them every once in a while, when people keep asking questions and you're like this, I, I don't really, wanna, you don't really I don't want wanna, me to answer this. I you really don't, wanna, don't. Right. And then you yeah. do, and they're like, what the fuck? Oh. And you're like, well. Right. Well, in, in my marriage, I can, I'm learning how to process in real time. Because yeah. as I think I've shared in a previous episode, like I am a next day person. Right. So I think that's the therapist and me. I've been trained to like right. give you what you need. But then the next day I'm like, mm, I have thoughts. Oh, <laughs> I have follow up. Right. Well, but like, I'm not mean, obviously. Like, so today I am trying to get increasingly better at processing during a conversation, which at least, is new. At least getting there. Yes. Like closer like, to right. it. Right. So today I did what you did on live up on live YouTube. So I'm going to share. I realize that my core belief is that I am not lovable. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. For real? Yes. It's today. That's why I was like today. Yeah, today. Just not lovable. Yep. My me and my Is that your DJ name? Don't poke <laughs> buttons while I'm sharing. <laughs> I get un- when I get uncomfortable, stop I make horrible it. We do the jokes. Buttons, but stop. Don't take me so, to a funeral. <laughs> if we're talking about Sorry. emotional affairs, like my fear is that I am not lovable because when I am my truest self or my fullest self, I have been like squished. I misunderstood See, you. I understand yes. that. I like, understand that completely. That's too much. That's too much. You need to like, we're the puzzle piece, right? Like if I get too big, they're like, you don't fit in like simmer down, right? So for the first time, I am my full self, unapologetically, like who I am. And he loves me for that. He does. Yeah. But the fear that he could love somebody else rocks me to my fucking core. Seriously? Yes. Because he is the first person to like accept me for like me and all of my my fullness. Yeah. So the idea that an emotional affair could take place and he could he could love and be vulnerable and to another, to another person. person feels very threatening to me because now is the first time that I'm like letting down my walls. Here is me with my ridiculous ADHD and emotional erratic behavior what? and but like because yeah, I'm a human yeah and now is the first time in my 36 years of existence that I am like this is me take it or leave it and he's like I'll take it that is super vulnerable for me because every thus far I have felt like that is not a thing nobody can love me for like exactly who I am I'm too much so he actually loves you yes but what if he actually loves somebody else? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sounds all right. like self sabotage. Yeah, I'm gonna I fuck know. with you a little bit. All right, go ahead, have at it. Listen, I talked about it for like an hour of you. <laughs> On my way here, I have an appointment with my therapist in two weeks. <laughs> all right. So be gentle with me, Thomas. I am. When it, we, the reason I made that joke earlier is when you said you're not lovable. I didn't realize you were saying you don't feel like you're lovable. Yes. 
I was like, of course you're lovable. That's no. the most fucking ridiculous right. shit in the world. Okay, I my didn't understand. Fullest self, I didn't understand what yeah, you were no, saying. I was like, self, I feel like if I am 100% authentic. Yeah, people love Ted Bundy. You're okay. You're okay. They still like versions of him. I mean, I'm sure. Right. I mean, there are two people. That love Ted Bundy? <laughs> no, that I feel like love me unconditionally for my truest self. And I, I feel like most people. I think you're selling yourself short. I don't think that's true. I feel like most people would be able to count on one that? hand. How can you how, gauge it? Taylor, you're a hundred percent authentic self. I'm honestly with her on this one. I right. don't, I couldn't seriously just sit there and think of like a, a, a Who group kn- of people. Right. Who knows a hundred percent you? I would say I could probably say one person, right. literally just one, one or person. two. Right. I, I couldn't sit there and just name a bunch of people that no. would be like one oh, or yeah. two tops. If I feel like if I could open up to someone, I feel like they would just right. go. No I, really? judgment, yeah. unconditional, will co-sign your bullshit or call you on your shit. Yeah. Like I yeah. could name like one person. That's I've, it. I have one and my husband is like the other half. You really? Yes. Is this an internal thing or is this like a mathematical thing? No, it's like a. I'm I, curious. I, I give pieces of myself and see if they're going to judge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if they don't, then I'll give you a bigger piece. It's like breadcrumbing, not by the same definition, but like I will give you things. Like and test if the you, water. Yes. Yeah. Because people are fucked up. Yeah. Well, not to be an asshole, people turn around and weaponize it yes. and bring it back to you. Right. And that's most people. Yes. So you want to want to know why people want to talk to a coworker or talk to somebody, you know, not, I mean, right. like talk to someone else is because they don't give a fuck because I don't got to wake up next to you weaponizing that to me. Right. You know, that girl, I can just be like, block, lost your number, piss right. off. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I, I, so circling back a little bit, Mm -hmm. my brain doesn't work to think that how could he, he love me and love someone else? Cause my thing is this, we talked about it before. How can you love multiple children? How can I love multiple cousins, aunts, nieces, nephews? Your heart is fucking infinite. And I don't know why we hold on to it to such a degree that like it takes from you. And I try to wrap my head around that because obviously I've, I've been in relationships with people who feel that way and it breaks my heart because I'm like, my brain is like Sheldon. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I can love till the cows come home. I can love inf- infinite. It's infinite. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't know why we look at it as yeah. such a finite little thing that like, this is it. You can only love me. That's it. Now deeper that's a whole nother deep thing okay that's a whole fucking thing to wrap around but when they're talking about emotional affairs they said when you share bad things about your relationship and all this also another person starts looking a lot more attractive to you yeah because you're not because they can provide things well they seem easy context they seem easy they're open ears they're open ears because they don't have to go hang out with your family they're open ears because they're not dealing with your bad days right they're there or your help. kids or they're your job or they're just, yeah. So it's very They're easy. contingently yep. supportive. Well, a pen pal. Yeah. I'm sure there's pen pals for a hundred years that they thought they loved each other. They truly, cause oh, they sure. could, they well, could share things. Relationships, it's the same thing. Like, it's a pen pal, right? right? So I could see where that becomes very easy to have that kind of like, it's like reading a book. Yeah. You got the story in your head. It looks beautiful. It's It's, a fantasy version of a relationship. So how much of that does fuck up your real life? Now, if, if he was avoiding you to be on the phone with this person or going somewhere to be on the phone, you know what I mean? Like, or, you know, she was doing that to you or something like, yes, that affects your relationship. But if you, if you were doing that with your best friend, it would affect your relationship. Cause you're like, dude, I didn't go somewhere tonight. I'm hanging out with you. I'm not out in the garage and you're just, fucking off with them on the phone sure. you know it wouldn't bother me because i'm just like i i have a different you are unique Thomas. You, i know in a fucked up way though because i want you to be you mm-hmm. even if you're kind of fucked up a little bit i'll be like hey man if that's what you need today yeah go do it you know what i mean because like i look at life as a, a a long thing i don't look at it as like I think we're told every day, like, today's your last fucking day, and today's... I'm like, yeah, it's also their last day, and if they want to go do something dope that 
how does that affect you? Like, how do you have such little amount going on in your life that it affects you that way? That's how my brain works. You know, so emotional affairs, like, I can I can see where it could definitely make somebody feel small. Like, if you don't feel loved, mm-hmm. you know, or lovable, that's a totally different thing, and I understand that. So you don't want to do something to make somebody feel like they're not enough. Mm-hmm. But you, your sheer existence can do that. <laughs> you know sure. what I mean? Well, I guess, and you and I had been talking earlier today about how everybody in different relationships and independent relationships, their line for affairs are different. Yeah. So I shared with you that I am working with a client right now that the one partner was texting a best friend and say, good night. I love you. And you did that. Yeah. And I listen, I'm very right. open-minded about a lot right. of shit and I'm going to tell you right now. That's that, too much to me. Yeah. That's a full blown relationship. Okay. Right. It feels like, oh my God, I fucking love you. You said some fucked up shit, but like fucking girl, I love that right. shit. You know what I mean? That's so, different. But that's, that is where as back to counts like Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> this is where people struggle is like three years ago. It was flirty. Yeah. And they called their partner on it and they worked through it. And now three years later, it's still full blown relationship. It's further. Yeah, that's so heavy. Where where is that line? Depends on how much money you guys have together in a house and kids. But that's shitty. <laughs> I know it is, I man. Know. But that's that vulnerability that you put yourself in, and that's why more people aren't dating. That's why more men aren't dating. That's why a lot of that shit is happening because we do not want to put ourselves in a position to lose our shit or divide our home. Right. Absolutely. Over an emotional relationship. Over any kind of bump in the road. It doesn't fuck financial. They do it over anything that there's gonna throw a shock into their system. Yeah. And I understand but the emotional right. affair, but like it how okay different. Oh. That if your girlfriend hooked up with somebody at the bar when she was drunk, you've already said you would come home, she shared that, and you'd be like, Is this a one and done? Or like do yeah, we I'd have figure an it issue? Out. Depending on how much I like right. the girl. If I was already right. on the fence of like, damn, right. no, I kinda but if hate you your loved family. Her, <laughs> And she was going through yes. a hard time and you were going yeah. through a hard time. And therefore you guys were going through a hard time. You yeah. would be like, listen, let's figure is this, this out. It or Cause you're just trading her in for somebody who's going to do it again. Right. Not being an asshole. And if she was but... like, listen, I was hammered. I was in a bad <laughs> spot. You know, but like, see, but I just don't, I just don't think that's really an excuse. I don't know. I see sure. that as like, I think it's very human. Cause if most people, if 80% of people have had multiple partners at one time, have stepped out of relationships. If most people have done that. Yeah. It's a pretty normal thing. Well, I just don't see why you, an excuse like, oh, I did that because we're in a rough spot. Oh, no, that's... Or, like, I just see... Uh, dude, I don't know because, listen, you don't... In context of depending on where you are in the relationship, and, it, like, we know couples that have been together for 15... Like, you're right. young. Yeah. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm saying there's people that have been together almost yearly yeah. yeah. that haven't had sex in 20 years with their partner. Right. A motherfucker's only going to go so far, a girl or a guy, before they're like, listen, put, I got some scratch. You know, Taylor, don't put up with that shit. No. He sleeps with somebody else. No. <laughs> can't, can't I'm, the right, yeah. Yeah. And no. But, the, yeah, no, I, for yeah. legal but it depends. A joke, but okay. I'll run right. over my because car. the way my brain works, though, <laughs> I'm like this. I do the math. I'm like, how much of this person do I dig? Right. You, you know, know what I mean? Pros and cons. And I'm like going like this. So I really dig this person. And I just want to know. Now, I need to know why. Right. But if you take a step back. Yeah. Yeah, and understand. But if it's physical, well, and it came out of nowhere or it escalated yeah, quickly. It really, you, I've never really experienced right. it to that point, but it was more of like sir, an emotional affair that turned into more. See? And you know? that makes it hard. Yeah, it didn't make it that if, hard if for she, me, but my brain is like fucking. But if she loves know. him or if he loves her. Yeah. That that hits different. Or you just or you just hate to I be a sore over, loser. Right. If you know you, Well yeah, if you like her boobs more than mine, all right. Man. I, I can get over that. But if you like who she is enough to step out of our marriage or our relationship. Yeah, we we definitely make people feel less than because we base everything that, about that is how. And right. it is. It's our own little insecurities with ourselves of like right. I have to, it would be like if one of my clients gets tattooed by a guy I work with and like some of his clients come and get tattooed by me. There's people who take that super personal and we're like this, it's your fucking arm, bro. Listen, you know what I mean? So, I had a lengthy conversation with a tattoo artist recently about fixing, like touching up somebody else's work. Right. That is what you're talking about. 
So you're there and I go two blocks down the road and have somebody else touch up what you did. Yeah. As opposed to come back to you and say, hey, this didn't heal right or I don't like this. Most people, it's my understanding that most tattoo artists, they get icky yeah. about that. We get that icky about everything. Like, we get icky I, if, I, our, yeah. if our mom buys our brother something and doesn't get it for us. Right. We're but, a bunch of... I, but about your professional work. Yeah, but I'm and just And so telling that's you. what we're talking about Like with a relationship. Is oh. What you bring to the table is if it is your best foot forward and somebody steps right. out... That but, is like, that's again, a dagger to the gut. Oh, yeah. So one of the people we're talking about personal responsibility in this as well. And they're not saying, not take blame for why your person stepped out. Sure. But did you have anything to help this along? Probably. And some people are like, it doesn't matter. No, it, it doesn't does matter, matter what you yes, do. No, you should never do that. And I was like, you're full of shit. Mm-hmm. You're just full of shit. You know what I mean? That's like, look around. Like, I like that's the most preposterous. You know what I mean? No. Like, come it's on. It's never one sided. But you have it's to usually understand. It's three sided. It's how you, your open partner, are you? And the third right. person. Right. Like, how open are you when they do talk to you? Do you just listen? Do you just try to truly understand how they're feeling? Or do you just become mad? Do you immediately. Because, like, there's a lot of judgment. I mean, you know how many people that are into weird kinks and they can't share it with their fucking mate? No, and it might be something like, well, I didn't sign up for this. I'm like, well, I didn't know I was like this. Right. I'm not right, talking about yeah. me personally. but, no, I was, but I'm exploring right. with yeah. you and here we are and I right. kind of want to try this. And if you were like, hey, you, I, you, I'm not into that. You could be into sure. that. And we have to figure out what are we going to do now? Yes, right. because if I was dating somebody and they wanted to fucking jump out of an airplane and start parachuting, I'd be like, that's dope. I'll drive you there. What I want you to do with me? I'm like, yeah, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm just yeah. telling you right now. Unless that motherfucker's on fire, I'm not jumping out of a fucking right. plane. You don't jump out of a perfectly good plane. Fuck no. I wouldn't okay. either. No. No way. No. I'll watch you. I don't I'll go whitewater rafting down. and I don't fucking do that. No. No. <laughs> I'll pay for it. It's yeah, but I'm not going. Happy birthday. No, no and I would pay for it, but I'm not fucking doing it. Yeah. But if somebody was like, well, no, that's fucked up. I, you have to be, you have to do what I want to fucking. And I'm like, well, see, I, I feel like if you're willing to support them and like, say like p- jumping out of a plane, just right. helping support their passion, you know, not necessarily do it with them, but be there for when they do it. It's different yeah. instead of judging them for right. what they want. Well, how does it feel like when somebody wants to talk about certain things and you're just annoyed by them and you're fucking eye rolling and you just don't, you, you're snappy at them or something like that. That's why it's easy Listen, if you want people to not have an emotional affairs on you, maybe be really fucking open with your person and be fucking kind to them. And you can't always be kind to them because you're going to have a shitty day or right. whatever the fuck's going on. Sure. But don't be so fucking surprised when you're kind of like snappy and kind of judgmental. If you're judgmental about everything around you, your coworkers, your friends, your fucking yeah. cousins, your family, all that shit, your person isn't going to share shit with you because they're like, dude, everything freaks them out. Yep. And that is not a boy thing or a girl thing. Is that fair? No, that's fair. Right. Well, but that just reminded me that I think we have talked about like betrayals of trust. Yeah. And often where I feel like people get tripped up because of X, Y, Z, partner A reaches out to external party and vents about partner B. Well, see, yeah. I think in two, I think and then it becomes an issue because like if you were talking about the sun, the moon and the stars, like whatever. Yeah, how about them But browns? if you're talking about me in a negative way, like you've already said, like don't talk shit. Yeah. Don't talk shit to their face or to anybody else. And if you're if you're reaching out to a person a, a potential person of interest regardless of sex, like a whoever you could, lover. Right. Like that whatever whatever your preference is. Yes. It, that is where it starts to get icky because you are now bitching, venting, sharing negative things. I, and that's when most people in my clinical work start to like really have an issue. Yeah. Is, or I think it's because it's like, where did that level of comfort come to where you can just go and say that to them? You know, I don't know. I just think it's in a sense. Well, it's a comfort because they're not judging you. Well, they're I not mean, weaponized, like, but I'm saying they're not weaponized you. I can say from like, people like to talk to me because I don't weaponize it back at them. I don't fucking judge sure. them. I don't You're fucking a, care. A completely non-biased party. We all have like a Third work party person, person that you talk to. Like I've worked with the same guy for 20 some years, man. Right. Like, and like we could, we know each other's shit. Right. You know what I mean? Does we he did, co-sign your bullshit or will he no, challenge you? No, neither one of us do that. 
but we'll have each other's back no matter what. Be like, you fucked up, but you my boy, right. but yeah. fuck. Well, stop that's doing my best that. friend. She'll do both. Right. Right. And we, we laugh because I'll be like, do you want me to tell you that that's okay? Or right. like, do you want me to be like, like to be honest? Do you want me to like... be your therapist or your friend? Because like, that sounds fucked up. So I'm going to say this. Emotional affairs is a real thing. Yeah. You got to also understand that when we say that it's, it's easier to forgive a physical affair than it is an emotional affair. No one's ever asked why. And, and honestly, I'm going to say no one's ever asked why, but I don't Most know. Most people can't decide. No, and the fact that we can talk about it today and get yeah. to that point where it's like, because you can control their physical body, you cannot control their mind. And that's a weird fucking thing. You got to look at yourself too. It's like, why am I trying to control this motherfucker's mind? I do a lot of self-reflecting of like, why am I doing this? Because I want to be a better person. Because yeah. I want to be a better dad. I want to be a right. better grandpa. I want to be a better fucking husband. I want to be a better, I just want to be a better person. And it's hard. It is, but in the same breath, it's not that hard when you start breaking it down of like, why am I feeling this way? And why am I trying to make somebody, why am I trying to control your fucking mind? Right. Say that out loud. I want to control how you fucking feel. Right. That's well, weird as fuck. Heart. I know. Mind. But, I know. But, but like infinite. that, it, it is. Ready? It is a. So you're in a blended family. You sure. came with kids. He came with kids, correct? Yes. Okay. So you're, you made the comment of like, I don't want him to love somebody else. You know what right. I mean? But you want him to love your children. Yes. What if his kids were like, I don't want you to love them? That would be hard as fuck, right? That wouldn't make any sense to you at all. That's what I'm saying. But, like, I guess that's my thing. Like, I think that what we're tiptoeing around, though, is a monogamous monogamous relationship versus a polyamorous relationship. Because yes. I I want my person to love me in that way exclusively, right? right. Which is monogamous, like that. That is it. Yeah. I'm the only person that you're going to love. I'm right. the only person that you're going to sleep with. Now, see, that's a different light. And if that is not your style, then that's a that's a conversation that you have to right. have because polyamorous people are like, yeah, you can love multiple people. See, yeah. my sister's actually in, in one of those relationships, and right. I try to talk, like I try to reason, like listen to her. I just understand I can't, it, yeah, right? But I just can't wrap my brain around it. Like you I can't? just, I just don't. Just understand. for you, you mean like you can't understand it? Yeah, for like, myself. For like yeah. I try to talk to her, and I'm yeah. like, I'm like, is it? I try to understand. Like you can just see yourself marrying multiple, or I guess being with multiple people for the rest of your life, sure. like and vice versa. Right. So can like, they? She has right. to sh- share between this guy and someone else. Yeah. And they're loving, and I guess endlessly, I like, endlessly. That's their perspective. That's probably the most authentic way of living for most people. Most for people, people who are. I'm sa- no, I'm saying, but a lot of people, because most people step out of their relationship. I'm not being a dick, but most yeah. people do. You wouldn't have a fucking job, and I wouldn't be covering up a bunch of names. Just saying. It's That's pretty true. popular. Okay, well, yeah. may or may not have done my cover-up. Right. I'm saying it's pretty popular. But, like, how many people are truly themselves? Like, honestly, you're, you're 19. Have you ever felt like you're truly your fucking self? It would be really around someone. It's very rare, right? She said one person. Yeah, Yeah. I would just say really one person. Like I can, best friend, best friend. I feel like I could just do anything, be any way. But any other call her up? Yes, but anyone else I talk to, I feel like I'm very closed (laughs) off. I'm careful with what I say or how I act. I, I, I just have to read the room before I act a certain way. But no, same thing with you. Yeah. Right. I have my very best, my unconditional best friend. Yes. And then I probably have three close friends that I, I filter slightly, but right. I still filter. Yes. Like, right. I, it's still... And then I question myself because you know my brain works. I right. go, is, Why that, do is you that living? Is that living? I know. And that that's where I... Sh- and here's what's funny, because people look at me and they're like, Thomas, you're very deep. I'm like, I'm actually not deep. I'm extremely... No. You're actually super open. Yes. And just because there's you nothing there. one level. That's it. Yeah. It's almost... I don't want to say shallow, because shallow sounds like there's nothing yeah, there, right. but it's just like... You're like a six foot pool. Because people are like, start to finish. You have to have a lot going on. I was like, no, I really don't have any. It's very simple. If I care for you, I care for you. Absolutely. And I care for most people. You know what I mean? Like, I understand, but like walking through this and understanding, like, yeah, it's, I can imagine that it's hard for you. It's super hard because people want more out of me or they think because I, what I do and you know, like, man, you're just deep. And I was like, I'm not deep, man. I'm just, yeah. I would like, so next season, I would like us to dive into the Enneagram. What is it? The Enneagram. That's the book that I oh, I told was like, you. I was like, I, is a I, really big deal. So like, was I, I drinking on that one? I know. I'm an eight. Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As an eight, my biggest fear is betrayal. Wow. Yes. Which is a big 
It like I would like to think what my fear is. I would. It love tells you what kind of fear you have. Book. And yeah, so it has personality styles one through nine. Taylor, you're old enough. You can read it now. Personality is it doesn't settle in until like you're like 22 or 23. So keep that in mind. But like, yeah, it it is super helpful because it tells you potentially what your biggest fear is, what your deadly sin is, what your, my deadly sin, Thomas, you'll laugh, is lust. Not sexually, right. necessarily, but like that intensity. Right. That's what gets you going. That's what gets me going. Yeah. That's my downfall. Yeah. Is I will just throw spot. myself into things. And my biggest fear is betrayal. Which is a deadly combo. It, which, I, if you cross me, walls go up, mm -hmm. and I'm done. Like, that's it. That's. I was just actually talking to my friend about this today. I was like, I... Like, I won't, I'm not that person to not give up on someone, but like, once I start, once yeah. I do, it's done. Like, I will oh, never yeah. talk to once you. Once I pivot? Yeah. Like, I will try for as long as I can, but once I stop, like, it's over. Yeah, I yeah. will not care again. Yeah. I used to be like that when I was younger, but that was a thing of just the way I was raised. You know what I mean? Like, I just had to, I had to have strong, like, things. Yeah. But as I became older, I don't put myself, flexible. well, I just don't put myself in a position to yeah. even give a fuck. Right. I mean, truthfully, I'm just like this. How does that actually affect me? Everything comes well, down to like I factual. How does it affect me? Number you are. <laughs> you know, I'm probably like a negative We're gonna have 14. To, we're going to have to read it. But I, I'm in a, yeah. Oh, we're coming to it. We're, we're coming to it. So Jessen was talking in my ear a little bit about some secret sauce God. stuff. God, Jay. Um, so they can't. What? No. Ooh. That's a personality thing. That is that a Mike. So you guys can't hear what Mike's saying in our ears. But Mike asked a question that the switch that people just turn stuff off. Is it a woman thing that can turn off their feelings? And I, obviously, Mike, we've never dated dudes. <laughs> like, no. But here's the no. crazy: I can say this. I, the stories that I heard today, this the man she was dating said things that like I, I didn't know guys talk like this. Like it was very mm. much you know what I've heard from girls, and I was like, mm. that was a. So apparently, Mike, it's not just the a girl thing. But no. I know you've it's only dated girls. Thing. Yeah. I think people shut stuff off because that wall goes up. Yep. And they have, it's fight or flight. So be, you know. Yeah. It's, it's survival. Yeah. It's survival. If I am vulnerable and you, and you trip that, like a bear trap. It's like, like, fuck you. I'm done. Like, yeah. it's, we're. Like Iron Man suit. <laughs> love you and all. It, and it's not always mean. It's just I like, that's it. You. I cannot. Yeah. I don't trust you yeah. with myself. Right. And that there is no coming back from that. And I probably was more like that when I was young, but I'm going to tell you right now. You would just give it away and give it away. I, there's nothing to give away. It's not real. It's not measurable. You're not taking anything unless you're stealing my fucking pension. Unless you're taking mm -hmm. my actual money or taking my actual yeah, your stuff. Heart? No, it's doesn't not, matter. It's not measurable. It's just on my heart the has curve. been broken so many times in my life and it's never been broken more than it, it currently is. I will be honest right. with you, but in the same breath, my love and respect for that person. And like, truthfully, it still does not take anything from me because mm -hmm. I'm still me. I've almost, I always say it. I've almost died so many times that I'm like, what can you fucking take from me? Mm. Like, what, like if it's, I mean, remember what you said, it's how you allow someone to hurt you. Or well, be, sure. Okay. Yeah. So my thing is this, where, what are we measuring this with? I have a lot of calipers. I have tape some measures. Sort of I have scales. Stick, I guess. Right, a, a life weight, stick, a digital weight of some sort. But that's what I'm right. saying. Yeah. When you break it down to like, what are you? What can someone really fuck? Unless you're physically being abused, or mentally being abused, and once you get away from that person, but like, what is anybody ever really taking from you? Unless you give it yeah. to them, you're giving them that power. Sure. And I'm not it's saying a just big be mind a, game. Yeah, and for me because of my fucking Sheldon brain and because of me, you know what I mean? Cause I'm just like this. Yeah. It doesn't really affect me. I've had to like fake being emotional well, about you stuff. Shut it off. No, well, it's not. Well, I there. guess you would have to turn it on. <laughs> right. So, but like for me, I am 
super emotional, just deeply rooted. I mm-hmm. like my surface level. I mean, I, I don't have feelings. Like I, I have very it. strong feelings. Right. But what I allow, like my own self worth. Listen, I got a little caught up in my head last week about something, and I had to like walk it back in my head. And by the time I got a message back, I was like, yeah, I was just fucked up in my head. She's like, hey, what's just up? And I was like, ah, I'm going to just put that 14-year-old Tommy back in the fucking box. Why? Because it was in my own head. Because that wasn't real? No, I was or reading, that was I was super reading vulnerable. into something. I was just reading into something, which wasn't fair. When you read into something without having facts behind it, and then you put it on someone else to explain to you, mm-hmm. it's kind of a dick move. I'm sorry. It would be like sure. your boss going, I need you to explain to me why you stole. And you're like, I didn't fucking steal. Well, I need you to show me that you didn't steal. And you're like, what are you fucking talking about? Yeah. It's like being blindsided constantly. And when people do that, I don't appreciate it. So I don't want to do that to someone else. But being vulnerable, I'm super vulnerable. I've never been more vulnerable in my fucking life. I realize that this is the first time I've ever fucking tried and truly fought for a relationship in my entire goddamn life. Yep. You want to talk about some uncharted fucking territory? And I'm trying to do it like with charts. You know, I'm trying to yeah, map that's it out. How like that works. I'm gonna. Well, it's. I'm being. I'm know, being. But you're trying. Yes, and it's so weird for me because I'm normally like this. I'm like Willy Wonka. Like, no, stop, stop, right. don't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm because I'm just like awesome. I have that Buddhist kind of mentality of like I want you to go where you want to fucking you go. You go, let me go, and we'll just love each other at the end. Of it the is day. what it is. Well, that's the unique part about the not so tender podcast right now because yeah. you are charting uncharted territory and so am i yeah it's very not tender it's right it is very not tender and both of us are very much in love yes and have seen a light at the end of the tunnel but we are in the trenches right now it is it is and we're both trying to be emotional and tap into something that it's hard we haven't in the past or haven't had success in the past. Well, being super vulnerable. I've had great relationships in my life, but I I mean, this one, it just hit me harder. You know what I mean? It's just more different. Well, just because it just the amount of how we kind of mesh very well together. And I just didn't really enjoy it. So I don't know how else to say it besides that. So if you're having an emotional affair, maybe fucking dial it back, maybe figure out if you would appreciate that done to you and maybe understand. And like, here's the other thing. If somebody's going to tell you why they're doing it instead of just being mad and being a dick, you got to kind of like understand it. You know, like, why does your fucking kid talk to your, their aunt or their uncle more than you? Because they're, com- they're not fucking grounding them. Yeah. They're not coming at them right. hard. Right. We've all talked to our aunt and they're like, baby, it'll be okay. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But if you're, you talk to your mom about it, she's like, so I'm a fucking horrible mom or I'm a fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. they who wants to fucking do that? You. Right. right. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing applies to someone you're fucking. Yeah. I know we don't we don't look at it that way, but everything that you hate that your fucking parents do, you're probably fucking doing to your mate. Right. I heard an interesting thing the other day that fucked me up. Like for real. And it says if you have a if you grew up with an angry man in your house, mm-hmm. there's always a fucking angry man in your house. Forever. And if you grew up with a cheating man in your house, there's always a cheating man in your fucking house. And I'm gonna tell you right now, get the fuck over that. Figure it the fuck out, because if you only have that lens on, you are going to torture every person you're ever fucking with, and it is shitty. Mm. It is shitty. Oh, we had very different (sighs) takeaways to viewing that. My thing is this. You grew up with a strong man in your life, right? I did. Good man. Yes. Okay. Two. Ready? Dad and stepdad. So you grew up with your mom had good taste. Yes. Good on her. Ready? So you've given men way more leeway than most women would ever give men because you see the goodness in them, and you will fight for them. That's true. Okay. There you go. If you grew up with a shitty man, mm-hmm. they always got to prove themselves. They're always on the fucking ass end mm-hmm. of it. That's what I'm saying. Because you grew up with a good man. I kind of agree. With, I agree with that. You know what I mean? You grew up with a good man. Right. I grew up with a fucking good mom. You know what I mean? There's certain things yeah. about I my had two mom. Good moms too. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. I was very blessed. Yeah. Right. What I'm saying is, like, I give like my mom's got her faults, like any person does, but I her good outweighs her fucking bad a thousand to one. Hmm. Does that make sense? I guess when I, so I saw a similar or the same potentially video. I heard it from a friend. That like yeah. hit me. I saw it on TikTok. Hmm. Like hit me hard. What I, what my takeaway was the clinical perspective that you marry what you grew up in. So. I mean, 
Right. I could see that a right. little bit. So you you allow what you have seen other people allow. I agree with that 100%. Yeah, right. no, that's real. I mean, because right. that's what you're used to. Right, yeah. yeah. So if your dad it cheated like on normal. your mom it seems like and a normalcy. She was, he was abusive or an alcoholic, you marry that. So if there's an abusive man in your house, there will always be an abusive man in your house. Yeah, I wasn't you. saying it. I was saying that's the fucking, that's the lens where they say, why do I always end up with the same guy? I'm like, you don't. You just find that in that there's no way mm, you're okay. gonna find the same fucking person repeatedly yeah, there's no fucking way yeah you only you just fixate it mm-hmm. and yeah. you go you look for it in it uh, absolutely like I everyone think I agree with that. sided coin well, i guess is i'm not saying it's, it's, it's right, absolute yeah, but right. i'm saying look just pay attention right. If, yeah, every if your boss, dad was a dick and cheated on your mom, you're going to look for you that or you're going to find that. Every woman what that I've ever met that grew up in a, a home that hated men, yeah, we do not do well. Correct. We do not. Because there, it's always, I'm like, look, I, I'm not going to be treated that way. Right. Right. You know what I mean? So when I look at stuff like that, it's if that's what you're used to, I understand you're going to feel comfortable. And if you're used mm-hmm. to chaos, I know people that grew up in chaos oh, and they're going to have bad. chaos. They're going to have bad. too many animals. They're right. going to have too many things. They're going to do all this crazy shit because it's chaos. If right. they grew up peacefully, they want to be peaceful. They right. want to have as much calm. But if you, if that's all you see in that person, well, yeah, that's fucked up. Man. Well, we've talked about that. If you dig, you'll find something. Yeah, always. If you if you are looking for Absolutely. an issue, you will find an issue, or you will fabricate or create an issue. Speaking of creating issues, the reason why Taylor's here, she many reasons. But <laughs> listen, boys, I don't know if girls send messages like this shit, but when I walked in the room, Taylor was saying some messages that these boys that she doesn't know. We'll just send her on social media. Mm-hmm. And I sat there and I was like, I'm going to make all my daughters get off the fucking... Oh my God. Yeah, daughters. I'm just getting my tattoo. And I don't remember what me and Jake were talking about that brought it up. But I was like, listen, you got to read. I was like, you got to listen to this. So I pulled it up and I was reading it. And he popped oh on the corner. God. He said, what did you just say? <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? And I just reread it. And he Can- was like... No. Can we take a break before? Yeah, we're we going to take one quick messages? break and then we're going to come back with Taylor's message. Oh, uh, with all the juicy right <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> okay. Oh, we're back. We're back. So, uh, Not So Tender Podcast. Welcome back. <laughs> Today on the Not So Tender Podcast, we're going to go over Taylor's um, DMs. unsolicited <laughs> DMs. So, boys. I'll be honest. I'm so tempted to fucking take screenshots of this shit and literally post your dumb ass. I want usernames. I'm so... Listen, if you think we should do that, for real, I want you to text this number. Text it. Just send a text and say, fucking put their asses out there on blast. So it's 234-200-5949. He's going to put the number up on the screen. Send a text. And if you think we should... I'm sure Taylor wouldn't care about putting them on blast. I'll just send them in. (laughs) Right. She'll also text the number. All right, Taylor. I I need to know, minimally, I need to know the social media platform. Where it came from? Yes. That's what I need to know. Can you do that? It comes from... My Facebook, like they'll just rant. I don't even know who they are. I'm not friends with them. They will just simply send me a message. It can be on Instagram. On Facebook. Yeah, or my, or Instagram, okay. or sometimes Snapchat. Let's hear That's what one. I need to know. Yes, please. <laughs> please. This shit. I had this guy text me once and he said, okay, not going to lie, I'd eat your ass on a platter. No ketchup. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. No ketchup. Like, is that a real, like, <laughs> does that work? Well, it never got a response, so I guess not. No. Would that have <laughs> worked respond? on you? No. no. I'm asking. Absolutely. It would not have worked no. on me. That was his like that was his word, lead. Word for, and then right. that wasn't that wasn't all of it. Would ketchup be a good condiment anyways? Ketchup is always a good condiment. Maybe Depends not on, you on your ask. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I didn't answer, so literally two days later he said, I would drag my balls across broken glass just to smell the chair you just got up from. Yeah. So you wonder why I was like, what that, that the was, fuck? That was what I was reading to Jake when he's like, what did you just say? And I was like, oh, let me just read that again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To smell the chair you just got up from. Listen, ladies, raise your sons fucking better. Breed better. Give them some better enlightenment <laughs> that they wouldn't Taylor. speak to somebody that way. I read that. That is some guy unhinged. I read like that just, and I was just like, 
I was like, I'm going How back old to bed. So you didn't respond to the first one. No, so I didn't respond to the second, second one shot. Yeah. yeah, the second one, she's like, "What's up, <laughs> dude?" I would just send him my fucking cash app. <laughs> I'd be like, "Yo, listen, okay. that is a new one thing. time." <laughs> I was gonna say, I have seen women who are one like, time. "Here's my cash app. If one you want time, me to respond, this guy was like, I will send you 120 dollars if I can see your toes.' No, <laughs> my grandma was sitting. <laughs> so you my grandma was sitting next beside me, and I said. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> did he one send one hundred twenty dollars? That was the easiest one hundred twenty dollars I ever made. Did you split it with your grandma? Or just buy her lunch or something? Some right. Just Biscuit buy her co sign that she was like, okay, but Taylor, <laughs> we could go get good lunch. So I'm gonna yeah, I actually we went to Texas Roadhouse after that. There you that go. Fucking great. <laughs> that was the easiest one twenty I ever made. Right. I wasn't. I didn't even feel bad about it. Why no. would you? Why would you? He offered. <laughs> you didn't try to solicit it from him. I just I saw that and I instantly I was like okay this this is gonna be fun deal <laughs> so this was gonna be just a one time yeah I haven't I, that was one time but it was funny he didn't it was respond. her feet. it was like it I'll was give my you another feet. oh it was her feet. <laughs> that's what I'm saying yeah <laughs> it I wasn't mine that part. Okay, it was my well. grandma's she we were sitting I was actually in West Virginia <laughs> we were sitting on the porch drinking coffee it was literally like 9 a.m. And my phone, like me and my grandma were having this heart to heart conversation, and <laughs> my phone went off, and it, that's what it said. He said, I'll pay $120 to your fee. And I was like, Grandma. <laughs> that's some fucking Appalachian shit right there. For I real. Like, I was like, and I she, have to. And she, she allowed you. She was like, All right, go ahead. She didn't really have a say. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I was like, sorry, Grandma. Thanks you're fam- for your toes. You're famous now. <laughs> I was like, thanks for your toes. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we, we went out for lunch after that, so she huh. should be grateful. <laughs> That's true. That's pretty good. That is good. Congratulations <laughs> to All you right. and your grandma. <laughs> and Texas thanks. Roadhouse. Yeah, thanks Absolutely. for the toes. That good bread. <laughs> I wasn't sending my own toes. No way. No, no. that's creepy. <laughs> no, my grandma, I have so many women my in my life toes that are, are like, if that's all I need to do, this girl is I, paint my toes. This girl I work with, this guy asked her. He was like, "I will send you five hundred dollars if you step on cake and send it." To well, me. I was gonna say it's all it. about like he sent what five hundred dollars do with your feet. Yeah, so there's this thing called Feet Finder. I don't know mm-hmm. if you know what that is. Um, no. So it's I am familiar. <laughs> I yeah. haven't done it, but listen, Anywho. times are hard. <laughs> <laughs> There's this app, it's called Feet Finder, or I think it's a website, but it's just Feet Finder, and it's literally where you just sell feet pics. And, mm-hmm. like, these people that have feet fetishes will just send a request, like, step right. on cake. Step on cake. So I'm gonna pour ask ice question. cream on them. What would you do if you were dating a guy or married to a guy who was into that? See, I've actually... You've had it. I was talking I did to a too guy in high once. School, but go ahead. <laughs> I was talking to a guy once, and he was like very, very into feet. I personally don't like feet. I think they're. I just. It's just not me. I don't really like to look at my right. own. Um, but he was like, Jesus, here we go. <laughs> I was. Down. I was sitting in the shower. I was taking a shower, and he knocked on the door, and he was like. I really want to suck your toes. <laughs> I'm not even joking. What? That's exactly how it went. And um, I was taken off for a second. Like, it took me... But I was like... I didn't want to, like, my face to change. I didn't want to make him feel like he was wrong sure. for wanting that. Right, yeah. Um, but I was just like... Like, if, is that something you're into? And he was like, yeah. And I, like, tried to... I went for it, okay? <laughs> for sure, right, yeah. I, I'm right. not really into it, but I was like, if he, it's something he wants to try, whatever, okay? After right. the fact, you were still not into it? No, I don't like it. Please mm. never stick your toes in your mouth ever about them again. I didn't like it. Yeah. No. Um, I don't, no. Mm-mm. So. I sat in the shower and definitely <laughs> washed that away. Yeah. I was like, never again. Mm-hmm. And I was just telling him, I was like, I'm just, it's not, I was like, I was willing to give it a try. But Would gotcha. you be willing to do it? No. It was it was too far past your comfort I zone. I just I really didn't like it. I didn't like the feeling. Well, yeah, I, I mean, didn't. there's a big gray area yeah, where, like, 100%. if you're into it and I'm not against it, I well, can allow it. I knew I didn't. I know I'm not a feet person, but like, mm. I've never really had like someone tell me that you know. So I was like, you I'm, I'm give it a whirl. To, right? If you're something you're into, I'm willing to just I just give it a try. Yeah. I can't. No. Mm. I, I hate feet that much. People get turned off by a lot of weird things or turned on by a lot of weird things, I've noticed. Like, I had a client, she was talking about her dude, and he started chewing tobacco, and she's like, I just don't want to make out with him. Mm, spit. You know what I mean? And I was like, well, how do you fucking deal with that? Actively while he's chewing? Well, just even, Or just you know, like ever. Ever. 
Mm. And mm. I'm like, well, how's that going to work? I don't out? like spit. Like when you, if, if I'm dating you and you have a soda bottle somewhere around your house. It's kind of weird. It, it hits an immaturity level. I think me. it's because I grew up in West Virginia. It doesn't bother me. I really mm. don't. I don't mind mm. it. I think We're it's used to it. Yeah, I think it's just I mean, I'm not used me. to making out with dudes who chew tobacco, but... <laughs> I am. But you've been to many a house where there's a spit bottle. Oh, yeah. The clients we have, come in. Yeah, yeah, we have... My grandpa, yeah. he does have spit cans all over the place or bottles. I, my my ex had it, too. It doesn't bother me. I don't yeah. know. I don't, like it. It. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. If it if it sits and it's stale... Well, it's like dating a farmer. It, like, if he smells like cow shit because he works with cows, well, then you're used to it. Me. But I'm saying, but <laughs> yeah, you're used right. to, but if you're used to that, right. it's just whatever you're used to. Right. But I was more curious like how people, if they found out their dude was sending a girl money for their feet, they would not be okay with that shit. No. So if your partner, your male partner, back. whoever's partner was sending money to somebody else in order to get yeah. pictures. Let's go one deeper. Go ahead. I don't know if we should. What if he's in defeat and you're not into him fucking well, with your feet? Well, see, this is actually what I was going to say. I feel like it has to be a communication thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like a level of because I'm not willing to. Or I'm not open to satisfying that kink you have, you know, if that's something like, right? I don't know. I just feel like it's something you'd have to openly right. communicate. I was just curious. Now, if it was something like behind the back, I feel like that's totally different, yeah, but I feel like right. it'd be an open communicate thing. So he comes into the shower and he's like, hey, I, I would like to try this. And this you're little like, piggy right. went to the market. <laughs> I'll, little big I'll little. give her hell. And after the fact, when you gave it your best effort, you're like, I'm sorry, like that was uncomfortable for me. And he was like, okay. Four days later, he's like, Taylor, this is like a thing, though. See, that's exactly. And so I found a website that I am going to, I guess here's my catch up because this is a lot of women's catch up. Like, it is, you can watch free porn or you can go pay for a stripper. He could watch foot videos for free Freefoot.com. yeah or he could pay somebody See, but like that that hits different that makes it, okay does it? it does See, this yeah. is what i've always said because um my ex he would pay for only pants and stuff and i see i think paying for it and do, like watching it for free is like different. Yes, I really do. You're going I, you're above paying, and beyond. You're paying for someone you actually want to see and entertain well, or her request. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm you, saying. There it's are different. categories for that. Like you can just see, type in I shit. I know like my sister, she's like really weird. Like she does not like it when her whoever she's talking to watches porn or something. See, yeah. me personally, I don't mind it. We've talked about mm-hmm. that a lot. Yeah. It, see, it doesn't I, I don't continue mind it. to talk to that. Talk it's still that a thing. A it is. See, I don't mind well, it. Well, clinically, I'm growing and trying to understand, and different relationships yeah. have different understandings. I've talked to my husband about it. Yeah. Like, I, I'm intrigued because it is a common issue I, it, in it's relationships. It's to me. You know what I mean? But, like, we've, talk, we've talked about this right. shit like crazy. But, like, paying... So, that continues to be a hiccup. If, if, if you're... Pay, it's free. Yeah. We've talked about that. Like, you could look up whatever the I know fuck. this. I'm not going to subscribe to somebody's only I, yeah, I For just, money? I just I'm not think, going to. Even as a single guy, no, it's not for me. for money. I you could pay, find yeah. that I for think free. the paying is something totally different. Yes. I, see, I don't like that. Right. Mm-mm. And I don't... I, like, if I asked you to really explain why, I'm sure you'd struggle to even have a real reason why. I just personally... I, I don't know. I just really don't like the fact that you're paying to see someone else. You know, I don't. I know that, but what I'm saying is, it's like a like a a real re like I understand you don't like it, but if we try to figure out why we don't like it or why we're not okay with it, like it's hard to. I think it's it hard comes to, down to insecurity in a way. Okay, so that way, I mean, because you're like you're mm. purposely because it feels like porn is such a like if a free porn just feels like you stumbled across some playboy magazines but if you're like you sit for pictures of this specific girl that's that's what i'm saying that's it for me yeah so i think you if you don't like pornhub which is free you know what i mean but you submit to something so that you can have access to it even just feel dirtier even that hits different than requesting from a singular human. Hey, will you do this? It's that access. Will you do this? Right. Will you step on cake? 
Will you paint your toes <laughs> no. green? I had delicious. Will piece of cake you? Today. But you know, what like it is a it is a spe- specific request from a human that you are then engaging in and paying for. That is where most people get intent. cut up. Yeah. Well, okay. it's the request and I don't know what. It's hard. It's hard to describe, know, isn't it? It just feels icky. Well, because that's how that's how sex is, right? Like, hey, can I do this? Hey, was that okay? Hey, do we have a safe yeah. word? Hey, do we... And, like, if it's outside of that and you are paying somebody else to give you that 10% that you can't get from your partner and you're paying for it... It's very specific, isn't it? It it feels like prostitution. And they make a lot of money, so there are a lot yeah, of people sure doing do. it. There's a lot of girls who subscribe to OnlyFans. Listen. Oh, yeah. Right. All right. It's not a one-sided thing. That I never comes up in therapy, but I'm sure that's a population. <laughs> For sure. All right, let's get another one. What's another one? You sick fuckers. <laughs> Men, do I, better. I had another Come. guy text me. He said, I'm trying to get over my ex while she's sitting next to me, so I'm hitting you up. He said, so I'm hitting you up. And honestly, that bothered me. No I actually, shit. I actually <laughs> no. I actually responded. No. Well, I screenshotted it and I went to his Facebook and I found his. Shut. And I sent up. it to her. I sent it to her because Listen. what did she say? Now pull up her response. What did she say? She. Well, I didn't feel. So she I left sick. it alone after that because she said, "Well, I cheated first, so you do whatever you got to do." You guys. That's what she said. Yeah, she told me. She said. So she, she told she me to stay out of. She said to stay out of it. I cheated first. So. Oh fuck. So I said. Okay. That's some real Ladies. shit right there. That's some real shit right there. She was like this. I can't talk Mind shit to business. that motherfucker. <laughs> so listen. Well, see, I was just trying, like, I just don't like that. Like, you know, you, the way he came at it, about it, I was like, I don't like that. Through Facebook? Um, yeah. So, yeah. you. I did. I. How brave. How I mean, say it with your whole brave. chest. You know what I mean? Like, you know what, just, though? Some girls that if they're, like, say you were in a relationship and you were like, fuck it, he's cute he would probably seem more valuable to you because he's in a relationship. So he's not going to fuck with you. You could just have that moment with him and leave it there. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? We've talked about that last episode, I think. So that's like, you know, even out, right. You're both on, we both have something to lose. So maybe that's why I like that. She was like, just, just, I cheated first. Yeah. She said, I cheated first. So holy shit. I was like, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> That's pretty oh, fucking bonkers, oh my God. right? Like, how do you... Whew. Lord. I will say this. If you're brave enough to cheat in 2023, you better pick... Like, I can't even wrap your head because every story I hear at the shop, they will... They always will message your person. Every time. You will get caught up. Always. I would say nine nine times out of ten. Oh, yeah. 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 It's not like back in the day. No. Nobody has to dig on shit. People rat people out. I don't mean that to be rude, but like, you know, like you're, they're Dude, quick with it. Dude, he was dancing like, with his girl in the same minutes that he was responding. He'd go to the bathroom and respond back to my client with hearts and slow dancing with his girl in the kitchen. See, I just don't like that. Like I'm, it's out there. That's it's icky. not. Why would you have? Would you have any interest in that? Really? No. 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 Ugh. She didn't know. She had a mutual friend that goes, "You're talking to who? Blah blah blah. Well, he's dating blah blah blah. He just posted this, and she's like, look at these time differences. That's crazy. And then that's gross. And then she confronted him, and he blocked her. Well, that's you know that brings me the other day. Um, my friend, we were at the sheets right across from my house, and this guy came up in a, in a car, and he asked for a Snapchat. Literally, I kid you not, the next day, like, they were talking, they were talking about hanging out, he literally took her for a ride in his car. Literally the next day, just yesterday, I was went to a firework party. This guy was there with two kids and a whole a whole girl. I he didn't know you were... Oh, he saw me. And like he, a whole family. A whole family. Two kids and a, um, a girlfriend. I I called her and I said you're never gonna believe this and she was like what and then I FaceTimed her I said <laughs> I said look dude Taylor, and you're like, my spirit animal that She's like, shit, I, have dude. Right yet. I don't care like I really why would you I was like he did look. it he fucking did it I because I was like you're never well at first I was like you're never gonna guess this year like I promise you I got out of my car and I was staring at him I was like 
the, it's the whole way I was. Did you should have had her. Oh yeah, he oh, was, okay. we were staring <laughs> back at each other. Oh, we I did not break eye contact, contact once, and I literally was like, "Shut!" I the called her. Fuck she didn't up. answer me the first time. I called her again. I said, "You're never gonna guess." Look. And she was like, those are two kids. <laughs> Video switch. <laughs> I said, I was like, those are two kids and a whole girl. And then he ended up texting her. And he was mm-hmm. like, it's not what you think. He said, we were trying to work things out. And he's like, I regret. Uh, Today. Yeah. Today. We were well, it's independent to day. Well, because he literally asked her. He said, let's go get coffee. America. <laughs> I want some fireworks. My kids like fireworks. Yeah. he was. I don't really want to watch them. So I got to bring her. Well, he was saying she was texting. So her baby dad's in jail and apparently she was texting him off jpay and saying that she was gonna buy a house so with him and many red flags and then, jpay anybody who knows what jpay is automatic red flag i don't even know what JPay i is. do it's where you <laughs> <laughs> both y'all i do i'm out automatic red flag if you know what J- JPay, JPay is. is where you talk to people in jail it's where you pay you have to pay to talk to them but it, no biggie. Um, anywho, they <laughs> listen. Oh, it's like stamps, right? Like I live my own world. I do. <laughs> well, apparently he caught her like talking about buying a house, and then they decided to work things out. This is his kid's mom. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. She's got a baby dad. She's got a baby dad. With she somehow. was in prison, or no, her he, baby her dad, baby dad was in prison. prison. Yeah, and she's on JPay texting him like, "Hey, we're gonna get this house together." With a guy that is in prison, but yeah, but he's yeah. also, but she's also with this guy that was like, we met. At Who Sheets. was with your friends? Yeah, he literally. Was I didn't like, know which girl. I didn't know if your girl, your girlfriend was saying this, oh or no. or his girlfriend was no. saying. This. I literally, I saw him and I was like, like walking in the hallway, and then I was like, oh, I'm telling. <laughs> so I pulled out my phone and I FaceTimed her, and I was like, look at this, and then she was like, so how was your family outing? <laughs> <laughs> no I'm y'all so are savage as fuck <laughs> she texted him she was like how's your family outing and he was like what are you talking about and then i was like hang on i got you he's and literally sitting picture, beside right, me yeah. no. and i went like this i said no you did not i promise you and i sent it to her <laughs> no fucks given i don't care like, right, like, yeah. i really do yeah. what's he gonna do <laughs> yeah cry i don't care <laughs> She's like, I met you at Sheets. You're like, oh, yeah. You're like, like, this was not. Fuck around, I'll be messaging you with JPay. <laughs> so I literally told her, I was like, here, send that to him. And then she sent it to him. She was like, that's what I mean. He was like, oh, it's not what you, it's not what you think. And then he was like, we're in the middle of trying to work things out, but I'm not sure. He was like, I'm sitting right next to her, but I'm not feeling it. What's up? Yeah. He was like, we're trying to work things out, but I'm not sure. He's like, I regret it. And then she was like, you don't regret anything. Actively. Like, today. Like, this literally happened in the span of, like... Dude, right. listen. I mean, I, we're not talking, like, six months ago where you're like, listen, I tried, it didn't work, and then no, I met you. No, they literally had, a, like, a fight. It's like, I met you, and then I went to a family party with so, kids who aren't his. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe he wasn't that involved with her. Maybe it's one of those kids that's been together for four years. What the hell is that involved? <laughs> they're living together. Listen, we've had presidents for four years. Yeah, I didn't feel that involved to- with them. They're living together, everything. They're like, living together. They've lived together? Yes. Oh, you didn't see that. Yeah, no, they live together. He. L- Are you moving in? Because you can just, like, film him all oh the time. Oh, my God. I will. Is he polyamorous? He's just looking well, for another. Well, we always say most people in an open relationship just say the other person doesn't know. Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, it's true. Is not it's the definition. True. Oh, sorry. It is now. I know, right? I love your <laughs> savage defini- little ass. That's hilarious. The definition of cheating: if one person see, is in an open relationship and the other person is not. Me personally, I just think as a bump in the road. It is. What? <laughs> Hold on, Taylor. So you could have been in that situation. No, and she's meaning like, no, she would fine. run him over with her car. Yeah, it's a little bump on the road. Oh, you know, I didn't see that. Oh, so no fucks given. No. You know where she's from? <laughs> I, I've heard. Listen, I'm learning. If you're going to tell me. Listen, no, you're you my, my spirit sister, animal and new best friend. My sister Thank was you for telling, inviting her today on the show. My sister was telling me when she got cheated on with another, with her boyfriend cheated on with another girl. And I was like, Put it in reverse. Hit her with your car. <laughs> Literally run her over. I don't care. How many? <laughs> Get okay. her out of the way. So you asked early on in this episode how many people have died of gun violence. <laughs> car Listen, violence? Before? Not, not before. enough. Has anybody <laughs> in your go, life? It's about to. <laughs> before I go. I find, like, when I know, 
I'm about to die. I promise. I'm getting in my car and I'm running. I'm putting that thing reverse. Right. She's gonna test drive like a a <laughs> fucking was that King Ranch Ford and truck, then, like a big. Oh my god! Fucking, yes. I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna take my. No, I want out. her to drive like a big like Deville. Oh. And just like yeah. I'm gonna I hit mean, him with my Ford Escape. I don't care. <laughs> She's like, I okay. I'm putting hit him. Ford No Escape. I'm gonna put it in the reverse and, and reverse. then be like, you just didn't gonna, see you. Oh, okay. There you go. And then I'm gonna keep going. You know, buff it out later. But keep going. Forward has a lot more. Like, well, you got to go backwards to go forward. You know what I'm saying? You got to back up. You have to hit them and then reverse over them. To you got to really hit them with the yards. Throwing them in a closet. <laughs> Just saying. Just leave them there. Just saying. Listen. All right. right. Do we have any more? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, <laughs> Just, oh my God, yes. Yeah. We're gonna have a little segment called "Keeping Up with get Taylor." On, I just want to get on a dating site just so I can bring. Listeners. That's not a this fucking is, dating site. That's what's fucked up. This, I know. This is my best one. Listen, I don't get that. So I have intentionally posted profile pictures of like me and my husband. The day I put just a profile picture of just me. Seriously? Yes. Oh, it's pop, good. pop. Pop. I probably. I mean, I only had like four or five because, like, it's still yeah. when present, I present. But like, if you weird. switch it, do you as a male? Nobody fucks with me. I'm like a serial killer, dude. People look at me and they just. Well, but you it. went from having like uh, a I public know. relationship I to not. No, no? they knew. They knew, and I don't right. entertain that yeah. shit. I don't give a fuck, dude. Right. I'm not. Okay. I, like honestly, I'm. I'm genuinely I became very, curious. very brutal because somebody was like, "Oh, I didn't know blah blah blah," and I, I straight up looked at them and went, "Why would you know?" Why is that your And they were like, right. what? And I was like, why would you know? I just assume I have too many fucking kids to, for most people to That just might mean you're super friendly. <laughs> they just like scroll through. She obviously others, puts like, out. Like, Shit. No, I have three children from my first marriage. That's all right. All from my marriage. That's my mom right. popped One out baby 10. daddy. All no, came, hey, no offense. But they all like, came from the same way of doing it just let you know what with one guy what doesn't matter it does we talked matter. About i am proud <laughs> hey, to say all no, of my then children. that makes other people look bad i i, I apologize to the listen, general when public. we talk about linear foot it, that's all that matters <laughs> okay how much has actually been tracked in and out all right we don't all right taylor so what's your next read, one taylor? Read, oh she's yes. read the nest the like next this. <laughs> this is the best one the best one? Oh yeah, this one was funny. I read it to him earlier. <laughs> it's pretty good. On Facebook, I need you to know the platform. Um, yeah, this is on my Facebook. Listen, I was like, are you just like in booty shorts on your Facebook? Yeah, I know. Like, I need to see like my, your profile. My picture. Facebook is literally my my profile. My background picture is my sisters, and my profile picture is me and my two sisters. <laughs> like that's it. it. That's what I need to know. I had this guy text me. He said. Like, goddamn, for real, girl, you are something else. I would throw myself on a wood chipper on the off chance I would be recycled into toilet paper just for a slim chance that I could slide between them cheeks one time. <laughs> no boys had that kind of fucking swagger when you were younger, did they? No. They were like this. How hey, you want to go like, see Depeche all Mode? I keep so my <laughs> oldest teenage son is 16. Well, about to be 16. And that scares you to death. is my world's worst nightmare. Please do not. I'm going to have to tell him how to hit on females. Because like that? that ain't it. No. Yeah, Did you respond? Well, no, but not to be like, want to get married? Oh, shit. <laughs> Tell You're him. Like, say, hey. here's my phone number. And no. text him that number. Yeah, you know what I would do? I'd fucking go, hey, I just got a wood chipper. Let's see if this works out. The best part was after each time he would put the emoji. He would throw, Which emoji? He put the eggplant, the toilet paper, wood log. Well, that's not what he said. He said, like, if we were dinosaurs, you would be a help. I can't stop a coming... God and and I'd be like, <laughs> what? It didn't make sense. It's nothing space, so I didn't. Source. Lick a lick a top of source is what he was. <laughs> oh my god! He said I would be a lick a top of source. That's a pretty like Mike. You were around when dinosaurs were around. Is that a real thing? <laughs> no, he's shaking his head. Yes, no. Taylor. I am gonna need you to start responding and say hit me up and give them that phone number. Oh, this is my cell. Thomas. Do it. This is my cell. Two three four two hundred five nine four nine. Please. One time, I had this guy text me, and he was sending me um, he was sending me all kinds of stuff, and he was like, "Let me get them digits." I one hundred and ten percent sent him my ex's number. Taylor, kudos. Wins. She fucking she wins. wins. 
I did. I saw my ex's number. Because you don't give two fucks. No, I don't. I don't care anymore. I don't. Fuck it. Yeah, right? that's. I learned that. Like, I'm. I'm. I stopped caring. Like, it just. It's pointless. Mm-hmm. You win. You I win. sent my ex the crisis line, the suicide hotline. I was like, here you go. Jeez. <laughs> I have done that twice. There you go. Right. They're super and, helpful. And once I, <laughs> I sent him my therapist's number, and I was like, yes. seek help. <laughs> Two three four two hundred five nine four nine. Um, Text these people; they give a fuck. Don't I do not. fuck with these girls. Um, I'm just gonna say, I, I wasn't raised like that, ladies. No, I know that if I wanted to be horrible to somebody, I could really mentally fuck them up. So I purposely well, don't. Sure. I purposely yeah. don't because I. Can't. You are well equipped. I will not use my powers for evil. I can't. I need to know what the most obnoxious way that somebody has reached out to you. I had somebody reach out to me on Pinterest. Really? Pinterest. That's funny because so have I. I'm not right. kidding. I, I mean, it, like that's extreme like, to me. What did they I say to you on Pinterest? Well, <laughs> like, hey, I like your fucking No, it, they, they tried to reach out via text and I had them blocked and they tried well, to reach see, out. Oh, you're I, saying like, they've already right, talked yes, to you somewhere like They else. have settled on Pinterest. I had someone reach out to my mom trying to get a hold of me because I wouldn't answer them. And I'm not kidding you when I say they sent my mom a dick pic and said, can you please forward this? To no. I promise no. you. All right. All right. You win. I, you win. I, this is not the first time it's happened. People all the time. I'm send like, your mother dick pics. Do pick. not send dick pics to two, three, four. Sir. <laughs> no, do. We'll start a folder. No. They can go in the group no. chat. Start a folder go in the group we chat. will just start I'm sending them right back. Now, I will post your fucking number on everything. I will fucking roast you. Oh it better be the, well equipped. It will go in the group chat. Say it with your whole chest. <laughs> How many Gentlemen. pictures of men's penises come your way? Too many. I promise you, like so many, so many th- every day, every day. I'm, a, I ha- I posted this picture. <laughs> my sister's birthday was yesterday. I made a post on Facebook. I promise you, I'm not even kidding. Some guy posted a dick pic on my Facebook, my comment section. That's not a joke. And it was my. It was just pictures of my. Here's little the sister. thing. Like, well, okay. So I have a question. Who did you make mad? Was it? Proud? Should he have been? That's the thing. Their like, face. I, like, I, it, going on her face. That was so <laughs> good. Hope you got that. She was like, so, so he should have been ashamed mean, of himself, right? I, like, no, I, I have seen like it. glory pictures, right? Where I'm like, no. all right, congratulations. No, I probably if it was, if and it then I've been it, other ones that I'm like, why are you sending me? If this? it was worth it, I probably would have gave him a high five. But he should have yeah, been ashamed. Right, yeah. He, yeah, he. Just an he should have went to bed disappointed in himself for doing that. He probably was based on the comments. I'm, they didn't. Other people roasted him. Did you send him just like? I had this guy. <laughs> oh, hang on. Taylor wins, man. I had. <laughs> you're phenomenal. You're my net. You're my favorite guest. It's pretty good. <laughs> Season two, episode two. <laughs> Taylor's coming back. She's coming back because there's going to be more. Oh, it never fails. Every day. Seriously. Every, every day. I'm not kidding. Every day I get a new message. We'll bring the. We might have a little segment once we'll a week with her... you that we'll just have you like read them. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm in. Do you boys think that'd be a good idea? Right Trash talk with Taylor. That's my favorite. That's my sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Justin said he was slightly disturbed. That's why me and Jake are no, laughing well, all the time. Right. <laughs> Mike's Shit. doing it all wrong. Now he's yeah, like, Mike. oh, here's some tips. <laughs> no, send more than just a tip, bud. No, Taylor, do you got any more? Yeah, I had this guy text me and ask, he said, I gotta ask, what style do women like you prefer guys' pew pair to be? And then I, I simply responded, high pony like Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana Grande. She wins. Listen, you just teach at the fucking learning annex of how to roast a boy because. Oh my god, that's fucking good. Did you send a picture? Because that makes it better. Uh oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, like. All right, I was just making sure. 
Yeah, I didn't want I it. it. If they were flipped around. If it's not they shaped were. like Ariana Grande's ponytail, I don't want it. Please you don't go want home. it. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to kick you out. That's it. Hi, pony. Or mohawk, whichever. But it's got to be impressive. <laughs> Fuck. Outside of the box, Thomas. That's what she wants. <laughs> Appalachian girls, boys. <laughs> They're good when they're on your side. They're bad when they're against you. Just to let you know. Next. Keep it coming. The hits keep fucking coming. This. <laughs> she can't even look. This is going to be bad. <laughs> Fuck. This guy texted me. And he said, I'm willing to throw you on the changing table and show you why you should call me daddy. <laughs> That's fucking creepy as shit. I'm you sorry. Are. Sir? <laughs> Sir. And I said... to back that up a little bit. And I said, 911. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Too much. Too much. Uh, Mike, don't lead with that one, bud. Uh-uh. That one's icky. All right. Fuck, Taylor. Do you have more? You have more. I have so many more. Let's, let's have them. Let's one more. It. Right. Fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you can't even fucking read it. They're really bad, but they're so funny to me. Like I, I, so I, good. I read them and I'm like, what? What went through your mind when you were reading, like typing that? Like probably what? a lot of drugs and alcohol. I mean, honestly. I'm gonna assume that they just copy and paste it. Do you think? Copy and paste. Justin thinks they're sober. They probably are. Do you think they are? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Fuck. What you time should, you, do you get them? I need a time All stamp. throughout the day. Morning, afternoon. Like You should be sitting, drinking your coffee, eating breakfast, and I'll get a message at 8.02 a.m. saying, please. You know. Are they also at 8.02 a.m.? Like, are they the same time zone? Right, yeah. Well, when I look at... I'll, every time someone sends me a message, I don't respond, but I promise I'll stalk your social well, media. Well, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I will flame you Well, like you can. said, like, if, if you're in a relationship... Dude, I knew a client. She said she would send that shit to their entire family, their mama. Yes. That brings me to my next one. <laughs> She's like, funny you should mention it. You boys can't be this dumb. Hang on. I have to. They can't be this dumb. How old are they? they oh, she told me earlier that the it varies. Like I promise, like they're older than my dad. Sometimes, sometimes they're old enough to be my grandpa. You know, some of them are young. It, it all, all, and like I don't know who any of them are. Like I'm not friends with them on any social. Did your media. ex like put you on some fucking site or some crazy shit? Like right. I'm not being an asshole, but like probably right. he was kind of he was kind of insane. But you know what? It gives me great entertainment. So. <laughs> You're here Thank today. You. It brought Thanks you here. So this is my <laughs> full time entertainment. Thank you. This is my new soap. It's opera. super good. I have to find this one. <laughs> Fuck. I sent it to him. <clears throat> I sent it to him. I put. I actually went to his Facebook and I posted on his timeline. Like so, what he posted to you? Yeah. So like, and I tagged his mom on it and his grandma. Taylor, don't give a fuck. <laughs> Honest timeline. And I made it public. I don't care. Did they freak Please out? Please read it and, out loud. Well, he deleted it, and I did it again. <laughs> Persistent little booger she is. <laughs> Tenacious. <laughs> Tenacious Taylor. Yeah. He texted me, and he said, would you be willing to fuck a 30-year-old? And he said, I'm wanting him to have some fun. And then he said, I've been preparing for this moment for a while. I want to show you how you got here. And I screenshotted it and I posted it on his timeline. And I How you got here? Sexual, like like she was made from somebody having sex. Yeah, so I posted it on his timeline and I tagged his mom and his grandma on it. Did he write you, you back after that? First. Oh yeah. I'm I'm going deep. I don't care. Did she did he write you back or anything? No, he deleted it, so I did it again. But he never wrote you back? His mom did. Shut up. What did she say? I'm sorry I raised such a piece of shit. No, she was like, I don't think that's my son. So I, I like screen recorded and I went to his profile and then I put the screen recording on his timeline. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm is not, not staying between us. This is all of us now. This I is wish. right. <laughs> she wins, sir. I wish everybody, male or female, if you get some fucked up shit like that, that you're diligent. Because most people won't correct it. people like that. You know, I don't, I don't think that's my son. 
Yeah, she said that. She was like, I don't think she's like, I don't think that's actually him. So I went from the message itself. I went view profile and I scrolled through it. Oh, I yeah. even typed her name in for friends. Like I'm like, like um, so view friends. So I typed her name in the friends and it came up. I went on our prof- her profile. I went back, typed in his grandma's name, and then I posted it on his time. I didn't send it to her. Video, I, right, I put yeah. it on his timeline. This isn't in between us. This is everybody now. Like raise your kids better. Yeah. This is, I don't care. <laughs> I could not imagine being tagged in that shit. It was something my oh daughter my God. did. Could you? you oh, have my boys. God. This, do you think this is coming? No, no, not with not with the one I have. My oldest. No, my middle. No, my youngest. Maybe some wild shit. Not on Facebook. Yeah. I'll even find them on Facebook. I don't care what platform you send it to me on. Like, I will find you and I will post it on. Sure, there. that's fucking crazy. I don't care. Congratulations, <laughs> you win. I I just simply stopped caring. Like, if you want to, if, if you, you want to be that out way, there. yeah, you yeah. want to be that you way. Poke we could, the we bear. Could, we could be that way. Yeah, show me where. Let's I, talk. How I was made. <laughs> she was fantastic. Pretty good, Taylor. Well, Taylor, thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> We're gonna have a segment. <laughs> I know. Yes. Can I have a tiara? We need a tiara. Yes. <laughs> this is for our season finale, but we will actually start having you do a segment, maybe once. I from, will. Ma- I will make one. A segment. Some sort of tiara and or trophy. Well, we have to have a segment. With but you. then you have to come back to read your shit. I'll, 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 right. I'm like a boomerang. I never to see, see if you can I'm keep always, it or not. Oh, I'll top it every time. Trash talk with C- Counselor oh Kelly. That'll be my new segment. I think you should and start I'll, a company that when somebody fucking sends something like that, they send it to you and you just fucking go ham on them. Blast them. Like People do that on TikTok all the time. That's why I go to the group chat first and I'll screenshot the group chat. So it's not just me. Like, oh my you know, God. Are we oh, dating the same guy? So we need an update on that. You still... Are you still... <laughs> yeah. It's still a thing? Oh yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. I'm on now on Facebook. Are we dating Tens the same guy? Tens of thousands oh, of women. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I'm so far removed from this shit. I know I'm not on there. I know I'm not going to be on there. It's sick. But I'm nosy, so I'm going to be on there. Absolutely. It's my (laughs) primetime television. I am am married in a healthy relationship and a therapist, and that is where I get my entertainment. I will, before I go to bed every night, I'm like, same. I'm like, Ashley, you're in for it. Any but any post that has over like sixty comments, I'm like yes, I am, I am reading like, every single go. one. Seriously, yeah, yes, yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, I, I am. It's already been infiltrated though, I, so it's not real. Anymore. Some people it's, are like, "Oh my god, he did the same thing to me." Blah, and I'm blah, like, blah. "No, girl, he Some did not." Some <laughs> people are like, "Here's my long term fiance." Anybody have any tea or gossip? And then they just go in. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Girl, I went on a date with him in December. But you're not oh, allowed like, to bring, is... like, anything that happens in there, you're not allowed to bring it outside. But you yeah, will get I can't rem- talk about, like, you specifics. Will, or, like, you will right get now. removed from the group chat. Like, yes. You're not allowed. But a lot of women screenshot and, and they get kicked out. Can and you ask if the founder can come on the show so we can talk to her? I will ask her. I don't even know who it is. We mm. need to flush it. Well, she has like so many the groups that I'm on. She has like literally like publicly asked, "Is there anybody who can help with like vetting people and getting people added to this group?" I got in before. Mike, it there was you go, anything. second job, bud. Nuts. I was on when it was like three thousand people. Yeah, I was like, I don't even. I don't have my phone, so I don't know. There's like there's a lot. I mean, I think like, there's over ten thousand people in that group. Seriously? Yeah. Oh well. Can aware I just say because, something? If you think you need to fucking ask somebody, somebody. Well, just it's like I'm only in it for the entertainment. Same. Thing. And I a lot of people imagine. will say that, and I do feel bad on occasion when somebody posts something because well, they're see, feeling some type of way, I, and then women will, just rip them apart. Well, I'm most like, girls post it, and they're in a healthy relationship. They just want to know about their past. And see, I think that's reaching, and I think that's too far. Yeah. And that's not. You do your own fucking work. That's not doing. That's, See, I couldn't. I'm, and a guy could have changed. Yeah, sure. I mean, not to be a dick, but girls change too. See, I guys don't need change. that. I can find anything out in like ten seconds. If I'm if I'm into you and I want to know, I'm gonna know. I don't need to ask. Well, and so we've had that conversation about like, if I was dating you and I said, "Hey, are you dating anybody else?" Versus. Does anybody else think they're dating you? That's our favorite lie. Well, see, it's a big shift. And I feel like that's why, like, I feel like that's the I healthy root it. of this My site have to be of like, hey, <laughs> is anybody else dating this guy? Because I, 
I can't I'm do dating it. him and like I just right. want to make sure that nobody else feels like, well, like they're my dating him. Today. Same thing. Yeah. But in that case, she should hit him with her car. That's it. Yeah. Right. She's not going to do Well, every that, once in a while, we see that. like I same would. sex people on that site. And I'm yeah. like, and people are mean to them. Oh, yeah. They're like, this is, are we dating the same guy? Yeah. Like, seriously. Yeah. They're very it, shameful in there. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's actually quite sad. Some of them are, they'll rip you apart for Not just, to be a dick. I think guys should be allowed to look through that and any girls who's comment and well, shitty there's things not Well, girls have their own. The guys have their own. Are we dating the same girl? Yeah, there's probably like oh seven God. guys on there. No. I want to know that there's, website. I need to it's be It's the part same thing that. on Facebook. But I'm going to make my husband How many guys that. are on there? There, There is like, I'm not on it. You can't get it as a girl, but okay, there's like but over Okay, when ten. this was first posted, when she first told me about this, like they existed. Months ago, yeah. Like, well... 14. It, it was like it was fucking well, it was, 15 weeks ago longer it's 20 yeah, weeks it ago. was like three thousand people okay and there now wasn't are any, you part of so but there wasn't any dudes on there that, like because like, i looked to see if there's guys we don't say like where we're from so like tri-county area are oh, you yeah. part of that one? Oh yeah like i'm actually in some of them that aren't even in this area all right so <laughs> oh my pull, god pull up tri-counties are we dating the same guy and tell us how many people are part of it i think i'm in like i'm almost gonna put taylor on the show as a tech support to sit over here on a fucking yes. laptop and just fucking just go ham for real god <laughs> but how many girls are being shitty yeah. oh yeah yeah pull oh, that yeah. one up because that's the one that i was like telling Jeez. you about and how quickly it skyrocketed boys there's Don't over do 50,000 people on that one. No, nah, see it, no. no. Stop it. There's only 150,000 people in this fucking town. And I'm going to assume most of them are dating the same fucking guy. Yeah, but they're, that's Listen. three counties. Oh, the guys are we dating the same girl has 100K members. There's no way. But that's the, that one's like worldwide. Like that one's. It's just, oh, okay. It's that's just, like not the our area. Oh, that's okay. just like the. It's group. people wanting to watch the train wreck. Yes, I'm into it. I yeah. would pay good money. Oh yeah. But do you notice how mean people really are? Yes. yes. <laughs> but that's. <laughs> Thomas, don't judge us. That's kind of what it's makes hard it entertaining. Not to. It's hard. We're not no, engaged not you guys. No. in it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. They so. ask for it. Jeez, I just can't. Like it makes. Me and then you have sad. good guys like Mike, who's it, trying to find a fucking nice woman who wants to fucking do dope ass shit and be treated well, eat some good food, make out, go on trips, and you got to surf through all these dudes that are ruining yeah. it for everyone else. And girls do the same shit because yeah. if people That's think fair. girls don't cheat and aren't oh, fucking talking to fucking oh, ten yeah, guys no, at a time, right. mm -hmm. well, they find it as entertainment. Ugh. They just build a roster because they're jaded. Because by the end of the day, they're they're getting messages like that, and they're like, "All right, what Can't will beat you them, do? Join them. What can you do? Ugh. What will you send me?" Dude, I'm so glad I'm not in the middle of that shit. Right? Am I wrong? That you're like, "All right, well, well will you, you stand on your head? <laughs> <laughs> will you do two thousand jumping jacks?" The best you're gonna get is my grandma's toes. I know. Damn. There you go. No shit. <laughs> well, if you guys want to send Taylor some toe pics. Um, just oh kidding. Leave Taylor the fuck alone. This phone number. 234-200-5949. I'll leave the state. <laughs> Change my name. Right. We're going to bring Taylor back <laughs> on. Every four weeks, it's going to be us and Taylor. She's got to come back. I'm in. All right. We'll Deal. do the once a month segment. Um, I'm into it. So if you're having an emotional affair, you got to really yeah, it's get tough. ahead of that. Like, and you got to kind of back it up. But you got to also understand why are you having that emotional affair? And if you are, you got to be honest with yourself. And you truly do. All right, what are you getting out of, out of it? Well, you're probably getting somebody you can vent to and share to because it feels good. That's why you have a job. That's why I have a job. It, it, people need to vent to someone. It's not their mate. I okay? guess is it is it any an innocent takeaway? I'm sure you've had clients that have, have overstepped. Because they yes. feel comfortable with you. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? They it's they grow into it. And you then all I mean? of a sudden they're like, ooh, yeah, dude, by, you know, I don't know how I landed here. Yeah. yeah, dude. By the seventh prostate exam I had by this one doctor, it, just start, it felt very personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> he can't help himself. <laughs> and uh, But I understand. But here's my thing, though. 
Also, on the other side of it, if you are a mate, that was good, right? Tilly? That was a good. I joke. can't. So, so if you're a mate, <laughs> too serious choice. Right. <laughs> I know, right? I can't just be so serious. You have to also understand that if your if your mate is talking to somebody else, are you open with them? Are you not judgmental with them? Can you communicate with them in a healthy way? Yeah, do the we don't just say we well, need to communicate. Well, what does that mean? Right. You have to really ask some real questions. And what I'm noticing because I, I I ask people lots of questions. You know, a good relationship is communication. Okay, you can't just stop there. That's like send prayers. It's not real. That means not That's it. That's fair. That yeah. means not it. Okay, what does communication mean to you or your partner? Because my communication is totally different than my wife's. Right. I mean, that's not even sure. the same fucking yeah. world. Your style, you mean? Uh, yeah, just very different. The need for it, the fucking understanding of it, all of it. But like, what I'm learning is communicating more. Because if somebody doesn't feel open when I try to talk to them, I'm not going to talk to them. I don't right. care. It doesn't mean I don't love them. I have friends that I can talk to super deep shit about, and then I have friends that I wouldn't even try to talk about that shit with them right. because I know I'm going to be like, man, fuck her. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Well, and that's not what you're looking for. <clears throat> no. Right. So you have to understand, like, if your person's having an emotional affair, don't act like it's the end of the fucking world, because it's not the fucking end of the world. Get to the bottom of it, or you're going to continue to probably have it. And you're continuing not to know how, even if you, you're not going to know how to deal with it when it comes down your way or get ahead of the problem. Like, if you say, hey, I'm feeling some weird vibes about that girl. Right. Like that, I, I'm not comfortable with that. But again, because of my shit, where I was like, I don't want to feel somebody, I didn't realize how many years I struggled with justifying it. I'd figure out a way in my head to justify it because I didn't want to fail that person. I also don't want to fail the person I'm with. Mm. And where does that put a nice person? So do you do you struggle with who to prioritize? Yes. Because mm. I don't ha- I don't have a hierarchy. I'm learning mm. to get that. Yeah, yeah. see, that's nobody that, wants to hear that. No. But that's because I try to treat everybody fucking nice. I, it's hard for me to... <laughs> I know. I roll. <laughs> but it's hard for me to take it well, down. Well, we talked about the pyramid. Yes. Right? And that's hard for me. And you're learning. Me. Right. Yeah, but that's hard for me. But here's the other thing. I also know how I feel about that person. If you're saying you, it, that girl's different. making me feel fucking weird and I'll go, I wouldn't fuck that girl with Justin's dick and Mike pushing <laughs> and Taylor sending <laughs> pictures to their mom. Okay? Do so you understand what I'm saying? Right. But I know. I get it. So this is how I explained I it. Ready? It's like seeing me, you're sitting on, say we're married and mm-hmm. we have a property. And it's a farmhouse, and we have this beautiful wraparound thing, and we have a field, Good and you choice. know, great you, choice, <laughs> okay, right, the best. And You're you, doing great so far. <laughs> ready? Continue. So you know that there's a bank over there, that there's a river right mm-hmm. there. And all you see is me over there, and you're like, he's going to fall off that fucking bank. He's going to fall off that fucking bank. And I'm sitting over there just walking around, talking to Justin on the phone, looking to see the river. But I know there's six feet next to me. But from your perspective, all you see is he's going to fall in that fucking river. Mm-hmm. But I know where my fucking feet are. Yeah. So all of a sudden now you don't trust me. God damn it. <laughs> all right. You trust me with your your food. I mean, I prepare food for you. I take care of your children. I take care of your mama's car. I take care of all this shit. But all of a sudden you have a hard time understanding that now all of a sudden I can't be fucking trusted. I don't know where my own fucking feet are. That's from my perspective. That's such a dick. That was a good analogy. That was, that was pretty, God damn it. That was pretty good. So here's, I guess, where my personal and clinical issue comes in. If you have fallen in that river right. time after time after time. That's a totally different situation. And now with before I even moved in, you know, like I moved into your farmhouse and now you're out there and you have told me so many times how you fucking fell in that river. Totally different. And now I'm on the, I'm on the phone going, Ooh, I feel like that's not a good idea. That is where some people are. But it, how you come at him and you go, hey, I'm going to give you some chance to make right. sure you don't yeah, fall in the sure. river. Sure, have at it. But well, I'm that was the what, conversation I walk, recently had personally. Is like, have at it. But when you fall. When you walk in this house wet, I ain't And I towel. have told you, right. And I have told you time after time, you told me that this is a bad idea, that you have failed to do so. And now you come in wet. Yeah, that's a different situation. I'm going to throw up a yeah. middle finger and tell you, like, you might yeah. have to pack your shit. You will get pneumonia. Like, right, yeah. Right, like, I, you know what I mean? Taylor's like, going to send pictures of your mama. So if for the first time ever you fall in. Different. So much empathy. Yeah. 
And with a person like me, because of the way my brain works, and if yeah. you're with me, you should probably kind of like, fucking... Right, yeah. If you like, actually lose your footing, and you're yeah. like, I have no idea how this happened, right. or how I landed here. I wouldn't even... Like, I can't even put my fucking head in that, in that world. You know what I mean? Justin just drove by here really fast. Right. But you could. You could. You could land in a situation where you're like, oh, shit, I have to tell her about this. Yeah. And if you're doing that, but that's a relationship, yeah. man. Right. And everybody acts like everything. If everybody walks around like, that's fucking unforgivable. I'm like, you're full of shit. Unforgivable right. is harsh. That is harsh. Some people if it's your intentional. Kid, unforgivable. Intentional, maybe. Unintentional, I feel like, is how yeah. emotional affairs typically You heard what that girl said. Started. I cheated first. You you let your shit. emotional boundaries down and you cross the line. And then most of the time, clinically, the, the couples that I meet with are like, I didn't even know I was crossing yeah. the line until that was I me. did. That and was, then all of a sudden I'm like, who? Well, I wasn't crossing yeah. the line. What, what I'm saying, you I didn't. stepping on it? No, 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 no. I didn't understand her point of view. And until I did from her perspective, yeah. it just felt very attacking to me. Right. And that's mm. how I took it. It, it wasn't the right key for my lock. And as soon as sure. she had the right key, I was like, oh, baby, I'm oh, sorry. that makes sense. I totally right, fucking yeah. get it. Right. And so that's where I had to kind of like walk through it a little bit. And but yeah. I'm saying, but nobody likes to, you got to allow somebody to fail like your child. You have to allow them to fuck up because you can't learn unless you fuck up. I'm not saying let them. I hate to break this, yeah, everybody. Not You're not going to stop somebody from having an affair, well, whether no. it's emotional yeah, or physical. If they want physical. to, yeah. they're going to. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? You can you can talk it... to them, but but how you breach it, if you because here's the other thing I heard today, and it's very true, and most women, and men probably too, I just don't date them. I don't know, but you guys have a spidey sense, man. You know That's when true. a girl is sniffing around yep. your fucking dude. Yep. And because I'm so oblivious, because I'm obsessed with guitars, and lighting in this fucking studio well, you have and a, recording a and tattooing right? yeah. that I'm literally like, that girl's fucking into you. And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Did you see the ebony fretboard on this fucking Sir guitar? Like, that's, I'm I not know. even joking. Like, yeah, it's, it's, so for me, it's like, I would, I would never have a relationship with her. I don't ever want to have a relationship with her because. Well, that's fair, but I guess that's where. I have been and some of my clients are that they they speak up and they're like, Hey babe, this one seems fishy. Right. And most men or partners will respond by like, I didn't even notice. Then you gotta let it go. Si and then six months later they do. They back off. And then again something comes up and they're like, Hey babe, you told me this yesterday mm. and that seems off. Uh. Now listen, and now they, if you're overselling it, if you're really... No, I mean, like, organically and, and innocently, you know they're like, sunny? that's fine. You might, be, you might be pointing out something that they didn't even notice, and now they're suddenly like, wait, right. they like me? Well, I mean, like, most, honestly, I mean, like... That is super Like, common. I'm going into work like this? Right. Most of the time, men are super yeah. oblivious the first time, oh. you pointed out. And the second time, they're kind of like, I didn't... No, that was a thing. The third time you pointed out, mm. you're like, no, I told you about this. You minimized it. Yeah. And you landed yourself I'm learning in a situation. Not to minimize things it, right. That's, that makes we're that makes most of the time mental. we're not wrong. Yeah, no, she's not. She's about not. that. No, in that capacity. If I'll we say, Hey, that bitch Yeah. She's not wrong. No. She can see it a mile away. She has. Yes. Like a, she should work yes. for a company. Because we're women. We've done it. We have done all the grimy shit. Yeah. That sure. we're calling out in other people. So I that's the frustrating part. Yeah. Is like, hey, if I tell you, hey, this is off, and this is off, and this is off, and then you find yourself tripped up, that's when I'm pissed. You can come to me and congratulations for telling me who you were right. Yeah. So for me. I it, think, it's probably too little too late by that point. Yeah. So I've learned recently that I've spent most of my life wondering about how I feel about something in a situation like that. And like, I don't feel that way. So it's not a big deal. Like, sure. That's that appellation. If I don't, yeah. you know, I'd have to give a shit for right. it to matter. Sure. Black and white. Right. But I've, I'm learning that a very valuable tool here in Northeast is Ohio. to see it from her perspective, <laughs> but she's got to see it from mine too. And that's yeah, where you have, that's, to, that's the problem. You can't just be demanding. You need to make me fucking feel better about this. 
yeah, fuck off, because I don't know how I'm supposed to fucking right. do it's that. It's not organic for Yeah, because if right. I'm going, hey, I can just tell you, like, I don't feel that way. Like, if I was saying to her, man, that guy at work, blah, 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 and she's like, I would, girls know if they'd fuck a guy the minute they meet them. Yeah. If she's like, I don't have anything, like, and, I, and if I kept on her about that, that'd have to be the most annoying shit in the oh, world. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. sure. Right? For yeah, sure. Right, yeah. Well, I just don't treat I people no. that way. You know what yeah, I mean? I don't, right, yeah. yeah. And because I don't treat people that way, I'm like, well, why are you mm. doing that to me? Right. But it's okay because I'm trying to understand it. But like, I've learned, like I said, in the last few weeks that when you have, you got to look at it like, why is she feeling that way? And she's got to look like, why am I feeling that way? Yeah. And that's not easy to fucking do. Right. It's so yeah. much gray. This is probably one of the grayest yeah. topics that we could talk about. 100%. Which causes so much. I mean, when we post this. Yeah. They're going to lose their shit. Emotional, right. um, emotional affairs is, is huge. So it's just, such a common topic. Listen, if you want to have an emotional affair, just send some fucked up shit to Taylor, and uh, she'll read them off. She I got will, you and I will scratch her itch. <laughs> yeah, she, but listen, and shut you down, and you will not want to have an emotional affair. Anymore. I hope your mom is uh, on <laughs> right. not and on social, grandma, not on social media, like, or dead because no she will find I'll find them. someone. I don't care if it's your aunt. She'll your dig uncle, up your, your mama's dead body and fucking <laughs> read it to her. I will. I will. I will go there. Write it on a piece yeah. of paper, and I'm just. Oh my god! So if you Taylor, see Taylor out barrel fantastic. racing, don't fuck with her when she's barrel racing, or she'll put you in one of those fucking barrels. All right, so I just want to move her. I ain't got time for all that. Take it easy on the emotional like, affairs. Yeah. Hey, but boys, if you didn't pick up what they were saying, is you'd probably be in less trouble if you just fuck them. So just saying. Truth. Yeah. Don't so, get in, involved. Just saying. Um, I'm kidding. Don't. Don't fuck around. Find a polyamorous person. But I think some people like the thought of getting in trouble. You know what I mean? They That's like doing true. bad shit. Adrenaline junkies. Oh, just like that. I guarantee you when they send girls, I mean, you're Ooh. not the only girl they're yeah. sending It's a too. high. Yeah. Just for I mean? them to send it is a high. But they, whether they get a good reaction or a bad reaction. They don't care. You know what I mean? They're going to get punished. And I'm sure some guys are really into that shit. So... <laughs> I mean, Open they are. Too. I, I saw a shirt the other day that said, don't abuse me. I may come. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have that shirt. I was like, she said I have that shirt. Okay. Taylor wins. I got it, Spencer. Jesus. Here we are. All right, everybody. Quit being fucking dicks to each other. Be nice to each other. This is our final one of the season. Um, Ta-da! I'm going on vacation oh with Mike this week. Um... We're going to do some little things. So we got another couple of weeks, so we're going to catch up. We are only we might only have one week lull between things, but we'll have some content in between those. Um, but thank you guys for the support. This first season was hard. Oh, we're also re-releasing the first three episodes with better audio. So mm. if you kind of got frustrated with it, Mike being the angel that he is, um, he went through and redid it so you can actually hear him really well. So... You can share them and maybe go back through them. Is that cool? What? Sounds great. All right. So you guys have a great... Taylor, thank you so much for sharing your uh, <laughs> stories. Um, let us know at 234-200-5949 if you think it would be a good idea for us to just post these motherfuckers' handles. You might find your uncle on <laughs> Yeah. Or you might find your future husband. Let's Whichever say. works. I'd Whatever. love to play matchmaker. Oh, Fuck. Now that Thanks, would be a segment. <laughs> Jesus. Have a great day. See you next season.